the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You're going to cry in one minute and ask the Lord to open your eyes. All through this month, we're going to be considering a very powerful series. I believe that the worship team just got it powerfully. My help has come. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, open my eyes, open my ears, open my spirit. Go ahead, quickly. Father, open my eyes open my ears open my spirit in the name of jesus christ let your word come with power let this series change my life let it deliver my inheritance let it take away confusion let it take away pain pray from the depth of your heart lord by reason of this series let my family be transformed by reason of this series let my life be a testament of signs and wonders even as you have declared that this is our year of signs and wonders let there be miracles O oh god hallelujah Thank you for your continued participation. I'm committed to teaching us the truths that will help us experience the reality of the life, the power, the grace of God. Um, let me just have your attention. Allow the various departments who are working around to just do their job. The mystery of deliverance, part one open your eyes open your ears what you are hearing will change your life forever the mystery of deliverance hello him adam night thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him adam night thy kingdom come thy will Hello, him I don't Thy kingdom come. One more time. Hello, him I don't Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. This series will open your eyes to so many things. We are going to be exploring very deep secrets for establishing victory in the spirit. Let me tell you, many of you, as you listen to me teach, tears will roll out of your eyes, not out of regret, but you will see the explanation behind the occurrences in your life, in your families. You will see the secret in this series God is going to be showing someone the secret behind certain tragedies, certain patterns, certain things. And much more than that, God will bring us into a realm of established victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Six scriptures. Six powerful scriptures. Tonight is just an introduction. There is so much to talk about and by the grace of God, he will grant us grace to really explore this 
dimension that the body of christ is so ignorant of we are so ignorant of this mystery this is one of the deep secrets of the spirit matthew chapter 6 and verse 13 let's start with the words of jesus himself when you are dealing with matters that are very controversial it's important to start with the words of the master himself ready to read verse 13 one to read and lead us not into temptation uh-huh but deliver us from evil stop jesus is telling us how to pray and he's saying that this detail should be captured in the content of your prayer lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us from evil that means it is possible that a man is not delivered from evil please follow me carefully lead us not into temptation jesus not a prophet not an apostle not a general overseer jesus himself is talking lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil obadiah 1 17 second scripture we're going to be reading six powerful scriptures apologies to those outside i know that you're not having the best of experience Obadiah 1 17 but upon Mount Zion there shall be talk to me there shall be and there shall be holiness and only after this then the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions that means there is a possession for the house of Jacob but that possession will never enter their hands until they come to mount zion and that in mount zion one of the things that must happen to them to possess their possession is that there must be deliverance are we together remember the bible tells us what happens it says ye are come to mount zion and now obadiah the prophet is telling us that one of the activities that happen upon mount zion is deliverance that grants the house of jacob access it is their possession but they cannot possess it it is their possession no one is arguing with the fact that it is your possession but to possess it it says there shall be deliverance scripture number three mm. second timothy chapter 4 and verse 18 second timothy chapter 4 and verse 18 go ahead and read please one to read and the lord shall deliver me from how many every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever and the lord there is a name god is called the deliverer he's not just el shaddai he's not just all of this he says and the lord shall deliver me this is not old testament are we together now this is this is this is paul mentoring his son in the gospel timothy and among the details that was captured is the fact that the lord can deliver a man so there are evil works the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. Fourth scripture, a long reading. Psalm 59. <laughs> Psalm 59. 17 verses in all. Let's see if we can stretch it through. I will read and where I may need you to participate, you just follow with me. Are we ready? Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God defend me from them that rise up against me next verse deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men for lo 
they lie in wait for my soul the mighty are gathered against me not for my transgression nor for my sin verse 4 they run and prepare themselves without my fault awake to help me and behold thou therefore O lord god of hosts the god of israel awake to visit the hidden be not merciful to any wicked transgressors verse 6 they return at evening listen carefully they make a noise like a dog they go round about the city behold they belch out with their mouths swords are in their lips for who they say will hear that means it's not a physical thing nine okay eight but thou O lord shall laugh at them and thou shall have all the heathen in derision you see laughter again that every time god is about to judge the enemies he laughs it's a principle because of his strength will i wait upon thee for you are my defense and all of that go to 14 verse 14 at evening let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city 15 let them wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied 16 but i will sing of thy power yea i will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning for thou has been my defense and my refuge in the day of trouble the last verse unto thee O my strength will i sing for god is my defense and the god of my mercy there are wicked men they make sounds and they communicate mysteries and they say who shall hear who shall know that i just poured sand on the ground who shall know listen carefully no matter what your perspective is about it just follow me it's a series ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood it says but against principalities apostle paul is teaching the church in ephesus here against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places are we together last verse john chapter 8 and verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and ye shall know the truth not hear the truth and ye shall know the truth if you care to know that truth and like i've taught you the truth shall make you free there is a relationship between your deliverance your emancipation your victory in this kingdom and the quality of truth that is made affordable to you are we together the bible did not leave us in darkness as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness the bible clearly lets us know that we are in a system that is largely antichrist antichrist in ideology antichrist in approach are we together right from the fall of man there has been an old story an old story about the attempts to frustrate the purposes of god through men and for some reason satan has concealed the mystery of the operation of the realm of the spirit from believers for many years the average believers understanding about the realm of the spirit is just the presence of the holy spirit and what he can do in the life of the believer which is useful and, inf and, and important and even superior in terms of quality however the bible tells us to not be ignorant of the devil's devices are we together 
now this subject of deliverance has been approached from many perspectives many have addressed it from an occultic perspective others have addressed it from a cultural or trado cultural perspective others have approached it from a perspective of pure ignorance complete ignorance and many people in an attempt to deal with this subject have trivialized the importance the usefulness are we together now of the informations that are scattered in the bible that have been responsible for the victory of the saints and will be responsible for our victory many of our innocent loved ones have become victims because they did not know the truth and they still do not know the truth there is no liberty there is no emancipation i have learned that truth is powerful if it is truth then deliverance emancipation victory are we together is what must follow a number of us may be may have been taught that the moment you want to attempt to talk about the subject of deliverance you are negating what we have collectively known to be in the body of Christ as the reality of the finished work of Christ but that is not so that is not so all of this it is it is because of the reality of what Christ has done that we even have access to the intelligence of the spirit to have this level of understanding because the carnal man cannot understand spiritual things whether they are demonic whether they are divine once you are carnal the scope of your understanding is the three-dimensional realm are we together now the revelation behind this teaching is for many of us the explanation behind the tragedies in our lives behind the tragedies in our families behind the many prayers we pray that may seem unanswered and just follow me as i attempt to teach you like i said tonight we're only introducing the subject and i trust that the lord will grant us grace that at the end of this series you will not only rejoice in your victory but you will have to rush to go and meet others to tell them hold on i found what is missing in your life i found what is missing in your family they may not listen to you but that you can tell them if you truly want to excel in this kingdom then listen to me are we together because of the rain let's take five or ten minutes to just pray in the spirit i think it's at least very useful it's, it still it still works out in our favor to just pray and prepare our spirits while we consider this shabalakatos open my eyes oh god Shabranda kato salaka shobra de kere ala hasia. Shabranda kato preketu shila hasia de kata. Shabakato shabarakato shi. Lord, finally the answer to my prayer. Finally, the age-long mystery is about to be solved. Shata kapara kato sege de balata. Shara to sege de balako yanda kata brada balada bash. Shara na sada balaka to shiada balada bosh. Pray, pray. Ranta kaparu sada balaka to siya. My understanding is fruitful. My questions are answered by the anointing by the Spirit. Explanations are given to me by the Spirit of God. Habarada kato sana kato siyala bahasa. Hallelujah. Please sit down.
I have watched families please listen carefully under the siege of demons of darkness of yokes of causes of bondages and I have seen the devastating effect are we together I come from a region and a background where I've had my fair share of the operation of darkness there is no family represented in Africa no family represented in Africa by default that does not have a connection with the dark world that affords them an opportunity to wield some kind of influence upon people are we together marriages are being destroyed even among believers and there is no obvious explanation finances people go to school they rise up they get jobs they crash down mysterious debts all kinds of operations within our territory science has done their best to explain i was watching something this morning a, a little documentary about the top 10 phenomena around the world that science have not been able to explain and i i wanted to watch it just to hear what science has to say about the issues and it's amazing how science is limited in the face of spiritual intelligence they can only do their best but come up with explanations that you just nod and say not so are we together i have been very i have been very interested in spiritual things and the realm of the spirit not just because of the nature of my call and assignment but because i learned early in life that everything in the physical realm is a slave to the realm of the spirit are we together that the realm of the spirit is the originator the realm of the spirit is the mother of everything that happens in the physical realm and that realities that manifest physically are only actors the real control system is in the realm of the spirit i have seen things in my life i have experienced things in my life that have made me to ask questions i have seen things happen through me i have read books and i have seen things written in those books that got me very very concerned and made me to have to go back to the word of god to find out and it's amazing the things that i have found out and amazed at the ignorance of the body though well-meaning and that if these truths are not taught with the requisite knowledge and the requisite balance the church will suffer in the days to come are we together before i approach this subject let me give honor to our fathers and the generals of faith who have labored in the spirit to bring as best revelation as they could within their timeline of relevance in the body we appreciate all of them god's generals both within africa and within the world we truly cherish their contributions but then we must also be careful to know that spiritual knowledge is progressive some of them have long gone to be with the lord and if they were still alive walking with god there are many new things they would have learned are we together many of them made statements that at the level you have to consider their statements versus the level of spirituality at that time but a lot has happened in the realm of the spirit and in as much as we celebrate them we honor them for what they represented to the body and still represent they are foundations they are pillars that no one will destroy but we must also be careful not to camp around their limitations and not continue the process of the training with the holy spirit the, jesus christ left us the holy ghost among other things to to continue to grant us access to what the bible calls present truth present truth there is what is called present truth are we together there is a dimension of god and the way he operated but there is what god is doing now as at the time the bible was written there was no hiv 
as at the time the bible was written there was no cancer are we together as at the time the bible was written divorce rate was not to this level that means there has to be there is an advancement of the civilization of the dark kingdom and there has to be a corresponding advancement even in the knowledge of the truth it's important to receive truth but it's important to not let what you know stop you from receiving what you don't know are we together my life not many people know about the spiritual dimensions of my life and my experiences i've only shared very little of them i've had very strange experiences in my life i have met so many spirits i have met so many beings i have met demons i have met all classes of beings some of them are only beings that you see in films i've had strange encounters and i've had dreams things have happened in my own life there are times that i've sensed the burden to pray and i got up praying and someone will send me a text saying he saw me somewhere and i can't remember leaving my body going anywhere these are very strange phenomena that you you can't just throw away i remember a a man of god preaching about a lady years ago who was not a pure human being i had problem with that teaching at that time i said what do you mean everybody in the flesh shares a pure human being i said no your culture and my culture there is somewhere reserved there where they teach that people can come back it is their little way of attempting to explain certain phenomena they have seen people even in our world today there have been all kinds of spiritual experiences children have been born who will tell you stories of world war world war one world war two and describe it in detail and the parents are watching them how old are you you are four years but the level of intelligence is not of this civilization and they have come to us to ask answers they have gone to uh, hindu baha'i and all kinds of religions the church has the answer to all this but we are lazy and many times not spiritual enough and not flexible enough that's the word we have already clamped ourselves ar around certain dimensions and we will not allow the spirit to be flexible enough to stretch us until we see what is true i have prayed for people i have seen strange things in my life I've seen anointed men and women of God manifest under demon spirits to my amazement. Anointed people. I remember years ago, a gentleman, I don't know if he's from Kaduna or one of these states, very anointed man of God. I remember him coming to see me for counseling because things were not working in his life. At a point, ministry just went down. There were all kinds of troubles. This guy entered all kinds of troubles within the space of one or two months and someone recommended that he'd come and see me and so he came and as soon as he entered my room then i saw a strange being enter with him this is a very anointed person and then i wanted to just talk to him you know about this no 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 don't talk to me about any demon sir just agree with me i just came for a higher anointing i was trying to tell him you are there arguing i'm 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 seeing it like i'm seeing you and i said okay no problem can you allow me just pray for you and the gentleman okay sluggishly and arrogantly like we men of god do i barely touched this brother's head and he almost scattered everything in that room coughing out manifesting all kinds of things by the time that guy was done and he got up i think for like three days he kept sending me texts he said apostle you have scattered my entire theology to its foundation a man of god delivering people praying for them ministering under the power of god now i come in contact with another man of god and i wake up five minutes later haven't littered the place sweating around what happened what is the mystery behind the challenge in our families that we gather together and pray to the god of heaven oh lord attend to us and while we are praying the matter is going from bad to worse then we sow a seed then we do this and that what what is the explanation behind the patterns in families 
they look like coincidences but you, no matter how long it seems to catch up with people there are families listen carefully please listen with an open heart there are families you will never get married first until you have a child out of wedlock no matter how careful you are it has nothing to do with being bad or being evil some of them are pastors some of them are leaders what of poverty there are cities you enter and you find out that things go bad there are cities when you enter you will become broke immediately not more than one month no matter how hard working you are you enter those cities just stay for a little time except you sustain an intelligence higher you can be earning one million per month after 10 years you will still stay in a rented house it's not the occurrence of men there are deeper mysteries than our eyes can see there are other cities no matter how careless you are you can enter within a short time and you will anything even if it's selling salt it will prosper you to the point that those who are prosperous cannot exactly tell you what they are doing there are men of god that leave certain cities and go to certain cities and it's as if they are no longer anointed everything scatters and they wonder what happened god boy you sent me here there are families when you get to a particular age range it's like an equation is activated in the spirit something starts happening patterns of sicknesses patterns of failure we have pretended they don't exist we have attempted to shut our mouths and say don't worry you just keep believing things will happen you approach life like that you are going to be frustrated are we together the same way there are people who are born and a small child of two years is already seeing visions daddy i saw this mommy i saw this that child has not had the opportunity to give his life to christ yet the father sees the mother sees the sister see even the drunkard brother sees visions and not even the drunkenness took away the vision he can be in a beer parlor and see an accident happening somewhere and say it like that yet you are here fasting lord open my eyes after 40 days dry the only thing you see is a spirit that comes to oppress you something is wrong how about people going to bed in the night and a spirit appears and sleeps to, with them it's happening to many of you it's just that people have been trained to keep quiet how will i say this embarrassment you get up knowing that something has happened to you someone wants to bless you you go back in the night to sleep and something happens whether it's an animal whether a human being it was here in koinonia someone was injected in a dream with hiv and he got up physically with hiv from a dream the same way solomon received an understanding heart from a dream and woke up physically with it people had seen themselves dying in dreams and they kept laughing and two weeks later truly they died what is this mystery that surrounds us every day can't someone give us intelligence enough not to create fear but to help us understand what is this whole thing mother was raped a young lady raped now you have daughters and somebody it makes a house help to have to come and rape the small girl and you look and say no all these people were not connected something seemed to have connected them from the realm of the spirit how about students who are about to write final paper last exam last everything all of a sudden they find a piece of paper on the ground and say stand up you you have done malpractice and because of that they just drive them away do you think it's natural does it look natural to you how about those who receive salary listen carefully many well-meaning hard-working civil servants there are many people who were trained in our own houses and they are the ones feeding our parents till today they came as children they were trained in the same house they got up prospered and built houses and they are still bringing welfare and giving people there are many of us you enter a street and the way it was when you were 10 years is still the way it is now try to build a house there and watch what happens something is wrong 
someone has got to explain to us what is this mystery around our lives there are families where all the men die mysteriously sometimes in a two two year circle a three three year circle a man can be sitting in his house quietly do you think all these spray bullets that happen in america that somebody just stands and just shoots and shoots some people don't you ever they they have to create an explanation oh this was emotionally imbalanced it's a lie it's a lie spray bullets just do everything and kill five of your family members alone and the thieves go for no reason there is an explanation my assignment this month is to open your eyes some of you will call your loved ones and say daddy we need to meet as a family this is it are we together my father is the only one alive of all his brothers I knew that my father would have died since nobody I don't know who is the most prosperous person from my paternal lineage with all humility I think it may be me can you imagine that they are not lazy a, a whole lineage and the most educated person just finished secondary school no matter how hard working you've seen them bring people here there was a time a mother brought a, a dear lady here 500 level medicine she started developing signs of bipolar and now the girl just went mad let that lady leave 10 years later when her life is almost useless the madness will go by itself brothers and sisters if we don't wake up the devil is going to destroy us hear what i'm telling you there are ladies the moment a guy comes to say i love you just that i love you something must happen i want to go and see your parents accident breaks his leg destroys him and all of a sudden they will go to a prophet and because many times prophets don't have that word balance as should be they will interpret things from the lens of their limited understanding and say look i'm seeing that that girl is a witch i'm seeing that she comes from a family that is a witch there is a gentleman in this ministry I think their dad just went to be with the Lord. He was a priest with an altar. They were supposed to bring the altar here for destruction. When I was counseling that time, I, when I used to counsel, people would come with their charms. They would come with their charms. Beautiful lady. Nobody ever. I'm not even saying that somebody cannot come to marry you to ask you out. There are ladies nobody has ever tried to ask you out. Wear anything and look nice. There is something wrong. In this series, I'm going to be showing you something I discovered. Joshua caused Jericho. Say, whoever builds it will build it with the blood of his firstborn and complete it with the blood of his lastborn. I will show you a king who tried to build Jericho and his firstborn died. And as he finished, his lastborn died. Joshua had long gone, no, yet it was still working there. That everything was working in Jericho except the water that had become Mara, it had become bitter. Joshua said, Bring me salt something is wrong ah. to break every chain 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 listen there are families that their warfare almost never ends they don't know why from one trouble to another today your father is in a police station as soon as he's finishing he's going to court as soon as he's done they are implicating him in the office as soon as he's done they they rob from your shop as soon as they are trying to manage the daughter gets pregnant then the brother starts taking something there is a pattern that is responsible for that nothing just happens there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working you are as a man your hand will not bring bread back home i have met people i know they are not lazy i know they are not lazy what of people who travel and go abroad and the devil just orchestrates it that the security just catches them one person and they deport them back they didn't do anything wrong 
the only person who was helping the mother in the village and all the siblings now the guy was going to a mall and police just catches him and said there was a robbery here and they, where are you from nigeria go back and the person returns back to the village from where he came from and you will see an old man laughing in the village and say i told you no matter where you go you will come back the old man doesn't have visa he's never gone to the airport but he can make a man leave italy and come back and sit down and then we get up and say don't worry everything will be all right come on now there is a deliverer that must arise i i know i know the business i did with god in deep waters to break what i am doing now the level of success in my life is is almost a taboo from my paternal side i never saw anybody rise like that my father is a good man one of the most honest men i've met in my life there are families anyone you train nobody will ever become anything useful nobody there are some of our parents they started sending children to school before you were born but out of the over 30 children not one of them is useful today the most useful person is sweeping the road somewhere what is that I keep the chains falling Shabalakatoska brandishia My key the chains falling I keep the chains falling Hallelujah There are families where nobody ever becomes a leader no matter how you rise you only make it by serving you never get to a point where you are served a man can work for 10 years when he's almost getting to the highest rank a scandal will come up that he knows nothing about they demote him until he retires my brother my sister nothing just happens our destinies are being manipulated by forces we may not know and just because of imbalances here and there which i will show you many have rejected this some of you as you are sitting now i just described your life to you you know you love god you are praying but nothing is changing nothing is changing you are praying you are fasting nothing is changing i know somebody that did like four or five universities never finished one never you leave this one and go there they say you are an occultist you leave this one and go there they say something happened to your result your result is not correct you leave this one and go there and there is problem not i'm opening your eyes i'm showing you how this relates to you a gentleman sent me a text he had gotten his visa he got everything he got yellow card yellow card at the airport is where they stopped him and said where did you get this yellow card did you get i said what is all this one now i used a travel agency i'm traveling say no took the guy to call some office blah 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 this and that happened they seized the passport sent him back footballer footballer that was going had already gotten those teams that can invite you to go and play this guy was god was sending him to now bring bread for the parents and at the airport one devil somewhere just stops that person he will return back the house you are staying is the house your grandfather stayed for 40 years your father could not build one you too you are staying there have you seen families where all the brothers with their married wives stay in the same house with the parents and the grandparents is that what the bible says doesn't the bible say a man should leave his father and mother but you leave something brings you back grandfather is in the same house grandmother is in the same house the brother is in the even as a pastor part of the veranda is being used for night vigil and regardless of the night vigil and the prayer nothing is happening how many vigils have we done how many prayer sessions have we done how many men of god have been in ministry and you will think being in ministry will automatically get them free from this regardless of their ministry and anointing this spirit seemed to just veto them just like that
Abraham as anointed as Abraham was for 25 years Abraham had no child it's not just a faith issue because you see it in Isaac Abraham slept with Hagar once and a child came so it was not just about barrenness he was not barren it was a conspiracy it was a fight of destiny are you getting what I'm saying now could you say that Abraham was Abraham was not impotent Hagar was there gave him a child and yet Sarah could not give him a child 25 years Isaac with his own too are we together now all kinds of troubles by the finger of the devil have you paid attention to look at your life what of the hardship the inexplainable hardship that is in our lives hardship there is no ease at all no matter what you do you are brilliant you are educated you started working by 23 you already had phd yet nothing is happening that's the finger of satan and for many of us we have seen it in dreams but you see it in dreams and get up and say no 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 don't worry let me just ignore it i don't think anything is right some of you cannot go to bed in the night i've shared with you my story when i will go to bed in the night and demons will come to press me as a man of god though i'm not saying an unbeliever filled with the holy spirit and these demons will not respect this anointing i will go to bed in the night and these demons will come and press me i will shout jesus like i was told to shout not one time did jesus drive them i mean something is wrong because the bible cannot lie there is something we need to know when the lord showed me i was free and my assignment is that god will open your eyes so that you will see some of you will be surprised that after this series all the seven jobless people in one month will get jobs like that so you will now know that until deliverance happens upon mount zion there is no possession of anything oh i will help you bring your cv it's nonsense you are wasting your time how many people have gotten scholarships eh, Jimmy? how many people have gotten grants how many people have gotten millions some of our parents have sat down on over one billion but as it is right now they can't bring out hundred thousand it's not normal let me tell you if this thing is not addressed i promise you it can wait for you for 40 years and catch up with you you will think just because you are 25 years 30 35 you are free the day it catches up with you how about people who labor when they are about to eat of their labor they just mysteriously whether through sickness or accident or whatever inexplainable coincidence nobody ever eats of their labor they work and live for others now please don't feel bad if what i'm saying relates to your loved ones god is opening your eyes because you are the savior that will arise from zion some of us today our mothers have told us don't ever bring a poor man do you know why because of something that they saw there is a yoke upon their family all the women suffer they enter wicked marriages where they suffer like slaves and so in an attempt to help you say look go and bring a rich man bring as prosperous a man as you can get and don't be free from what i'm telling you and watch the drama that happens when that ring enters your hand this is what i do every day it's like a lecturer that has been teaching if my life did not experience this it would be that i'm just talking because of people i've been a victim of what i'm sharing for you that look study the ministries in zaria they don't reach three years safely something must arise and happen find out how many men of god have been in this city for many years and look at the track record that follow it's not that they are bad there are spirits there are powers there are yokes and if our eyes are not open to it then we're getting into trouble are you ready to pray again i like you to say lord in this series the challenge in my life and my family must come to end
Kanda la masada bakuriata. Shema la na mala sena na na maniana. Shema la na masena na na maniana na masena na dia. Leka para kuto shabanda si alabada. Hallelujah. I have met spirits in my life. Sit down. I've met all kinds of spirits. The first time I met a physical demon spirit, physical, it was inside the campus, ABU there. There was a generator there. It was in the night. I was praying alone. I'm not talking vision. This is not vision. I just went to the side of that generator and all of a sudden, I saw a being standing and he shouted at me, Get back! What? Spontaneously, I began to pray in tongues. And that was it. Somebody that is physical, just like a student, just disappeared. Went like that. That's when I said, This is serious. This one, this is serious. So we are not alone. This is serious. I have met spirits, I have met devils. Sometimes you just see me preaching and do my mad thing. I can just keep quiet and start rebuking. I don't have to tell you everything I'm seeing. But you see, let me tell you. Everywhere believers are gathered, all kinds of things happen. Some of us, there are things that follow you. What do you think happens to you when you are in the room and you keep looking back? You know there is someone. You are not lying. Your spirit knows you are not alone. You are sleeping and you, you are just afraid for reasons you can't explain. You are an adult, so you are not supposed to be afraid. The spirit of a man is powerful. The spirit of a man is like an antenna. You can pick something. You may not explain it, but you can pick it. You can be lying down and know that death is around. What is There is death. This is not just discernment. The human spirit, even animals, souls, animals can start backing. There are all kinds of scientific explanations. Before any hurricane, the animals run. It's only men that remain there and die like chickens. Birds relocate. The fishes relocate. Only men remain there and we die like chickens. How demons operate, right? How do they operate? What is the system of operation in a demonic kingdom? What, what is the basis? How do they operate? What has made them so powerful like this? What has made them so powerful that from Asia to the US, to the UK, to the Middle East, to Africa, it looks like there are networks of operation that keep men in a common captivity. Same problem regardless of location. What sort of orderly civilization is that? That they can destroy the lives of people. From villages to towns to cities and all of that. We have not been able to build a network that has covered the whole world like that. They can be strong in regions. Yet the devil has built an arsenal that for as long as you are upon the face of this earth, there is a system of reaching you. There are three main ways three main ways that demons and satan listen carefully there are three main ways that demons and satan have access to all men including believers only three from the authority of scripture there are only three ways number one write it down covenants number one covenants hmm covenants let's talk about it please look up you can get my teaching the altar of prayer listen to it it will bless you covenants for most of us all we know about covenants is just the old and the new testament that 
um, you know, the Old Testament, a foreshadow of the New and the New and so on and so forth. As wonderful as that is, that is not the only idea about covenants. Write this down, please. A covenant is a system of authorization. A covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people ratified by the mystery of blood ratified by or with whichever the mystery of blood with mutual advantages if kept with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated that's a covenant a system of agreement a system of authorization between two or more people or persons it's possible that it, it can be a covenant between a spirit being are we together now that the basis of that covenant that is usually ratified by blood is to create a system where there is mutual benefit where the terms well defined the well-defined terms of that covenant are kept and then with severe consequences listen the concept of covenant predates old and new testament you have to understand this the concept of covenant predates old and new testament A system of agreement you read Genesis 1 you see a lot of things that God did there are we together and that God signified lights to do certain things to the earth are we together now and they've seen being in obedience there is a system a covenant with the earth that the earth will produce after its kind you don't sow mango and reap banana under no condition are we together if you sow mango you don't have to tell the earth earth make is mango i sow no you just plant mango and it will reap after its kind very accurately noah read an altar in genesis chapter 8 and the bible tells us that god smelled a sweet sever and god made a covenant of seed time and harvest signified with the rainbow is that true many other covenants happen listen there are personal covenants there are territorial covenants it's not just a covenant of old and new testament in the bible people had personal covenants with god very personal covenants lord let us agree that this level of assistance comes to me and if you do this to me some of the covenants had one-time conditions and benefits after it, it was gone there were covenants in the bible that the bible will tell you this is for an everlasting covenant everlasting are we together now yes so there are all kinds of covenants an agreement between two or more people that has mutual benefits are we together if obeyed if complied and has a disaster many families africa as a continent is amazing is amazing how with the number of churches there are more churches than there are companies in africa yet the economy has not grown yet many things have not happened our soil is the most productive of all soils in all the seven continents yet in the midst of it israel israel unbelievers who don't love god they farm on top of mountains and yet they export food and we eat it here 
those while they are farming they are insulting god yet there is a covenant upon their land that commits god to bless them they can talk nonsense against the god of abraham isaac and jacob you would think god will arise in his fury and curse them how about the ishmaelites the covenant with abraham that ishmael became a partaker of forget the fact that he was a child born out of i don't know what he was illegitimate or whatever it is still covenant because remember when ishmael was crying and hagar was crying heaven had only the voice of ishmael and god came to the rescue because of ishmael and that abrahamic blessing is still at work till today strangely look at the middle east a small nation with oil that is greater than that of nigeria very pockets of nations yet their economy in strange way is not normal my brother my sister it's not normal are we together the first system of authorization that we know on earth that authorizes both god and more importantly for our discussion tonight demon spirits is covenant i will take out time to explain all those ones number two write it down the second system of authorization is disobedience 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 is a force in the spirit just like obedience is a force disobedience is a force it can do things obedience is a force it can make things happen deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command thee this day it says that the lord thy god will set thee on high there is a condition above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings will pursue you and overtake you are we together now if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord verse 3 begins to list the blessings blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be your needing trough the fruit of your body are you seeing it there now obedience for the blessing of the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground the fruit of your cattle the increase of this and that and that go to verse 13 and the lord shall make thee the head and not the tail thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken if thou shalt hearken to the commands of the lord and all of that you now begin to read from verse 14 read down it says but if you do not hearken this list of causes shall come upon you he said and shall not go aside we read it down and then it tells you the list of many bad things let's see a few of them uh let's try 16. cause shall thou be in the city are you seeing the opposite now who is speaking god cause shall thou be in the field 17. cause shall be thy basket a man had a dream he was holding three baskets on his head you call that breakthrough but joseph said ah this dream means in three days the beds that you will be hanged if you saw yourself with basket with food in the dream would you get up and dance but a basket can be caused the guy was having three baskets and the birds came and ate it here's joseph's interpretation in three days the pharaoh will finally conclude on you they are going to catch you they will hang you and the birds will eat your flesh cause shall be thy basket and thy store let's read to 20 and we'll stop there cause shall be the fruit of your body intelligent people what is the fruit of your body talk to me what is the fruit of your body are you seeing that now and the fruit of your land the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep 19 cause shall thou be when thou come in whether in america or nigeria cause shall thou be when thou go out in case you think the problem is when... <laughs> the lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation families rebuke in all that thou settest thy hands for to do 
until thou be destroyed and until thou perish how fast because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me just leave it there disobedience the blood of Jesus does not give authorization or it does not excuse the, the force of disobedience is still at work the same way the force of obedience is still at work are we together the Bible says a cause causeless shall not stand but a cause that has a cause shall stand this is a description of many lives and many families although we will not admit it but it's very clear that this is a description of many lives and many destinies obedience obedience disobedience I hope you know that there is a spirit that works in men to make them disobey because Satan knows that until you are assisted by a spirit you can't disobey sufficient to allow him have access access to your life consistent disobedience is being empowered by a spirit there is a spirit that works you can't call let me tell you human beings are not so bad when somebody walks in disobedience and rebellion perpetually there is a spirit that assists you authorization number three the third authorization is ignorance 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 Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 ignorance these are the tripartite systems the systems the access the only access points that Satan has Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 let me quote it it says having their understanding darkened then it says alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them so what is the situation here having their understanding darkened there is no understanding then it says as a result being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them it said because of the blindness of their heart that means a man who is in ignorance a woman who is in ignorance or a state of insufficient understanding is a gate pass to Satan and his demons to come and destroy and shred your life into pieces let me tell you this much more than causes uh, and covenants much more than disobedience this is where many well-meaning people come to they have worked well to break courses in their lives they have worked well to receive grace for obedience but they have not obtained grace for spiritual intelligence to know what to do psalms 82 verse 5 psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness are you seeing that now and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes ignorance not knowing what to do the bible says jesus himself knew what to do these three access points listen all the chaos you see in the world is predicated upon this tree a covenant that has authorized Satan to come into lives and families on a legal basis and let me tell you this maybe next week I will explain to you how they individually work but let me give you a little appetizer covenants are not casted you don't cast and in the name of Jesus I cast that covenant no this is where we mock ourselves come promise look at this if promise god forbid just an example right if promise is a thief and this is my phone watch this and promise wants to quickly pick the phone and run away if he hears my footsteps coming what will he do he will run because he's a thief are we together but if promise gave somebody money who claimed that this phone is his own and promise wants to pick it what do you think will happen if he sees me coming a legal transaction occurred he's not going to run 
he will pick it and I say leave my phone he say what is that it has to take another person to come and settle us I can't push him and say go away there must be a legal basis of proving that the phone is mine the spirits that buffet our families have access our families through covenants they are not illegal occupants they were covenanted intentionally our fathers called them for assistance come and help us in the time of war come and help us and they say what is the agreement the agreement is that all our children will serve you and then some missionaries just flew from from america and just came and died of malaria is it malaria that really killed them come on africa talk to me is it malaria that really killed them no sir let's be wise it can't be malaria they had the gospel of salvation but the missionaries did not know the gospel of the kingdom are we together now the gospel of salvation a revelation of the father's love through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and that's what they came to do and all of a sudden they saw a shrine and said destroy it and leave it and they just kicked the pot and the missionary died two days later are we together now some of us carried certain pots and certain instruments of covenant and destroyed them and believed that we are free they said now everything is destroyed everybody just give thanks and go and they laugh at you from the realm of the spirit the bible says that when a strong man comes to a house and lays claim of a possession he says it will take one greater than he to come and dislodge him and collect those possessions is that true this is what we do not understand there are legal manifestations for as long let me tell you even your salvation did not stop you from looking like your biological father you didn't get born again and suddenly changed to look like an angel in spite of your being born again they can still see you and say ah, are you so 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 son that blood that genetics is still in force if you looked at jesus and you looked at mary you will know ah is this your mother i say yes now in the flesh are we together that was the reason why when jesus resurrected and when john saw him in revelation john could not recognize him on earth they could recognize him of course this is mary's son no it was not a thing of controversy but now they saw him in a radiance they said what is this now who is this one covenants have destroyed us the north has covenants listen carefully the south has covenants the east has covenants listen carefully brothers and sisters northern and hear me beloved brothers and sisters we are not just lazy for nothing there is a spirit making it happen are we together now i don't mean to be sarcastic easterners when they say you love money so much it's not an insult there is a spirit responsible for that thing southerners the same thing all of us were like that if you see any man that is not affected by those things he has stepped into another dimension that has corrected it that's the goal of this series to help you tap into something that all of a sudden will set you free and you will rise and your children will say daddy we used to hear that people who come from this place they are like this and he says son something happened on the way before you were born there was a long story i attended koinonia and something happened some things were corrected once and for all once and for all there is an ordinance in the spirit that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin when the father himself wanted to redeem men he could not violate that he couldn't save man with a divine proclamation after all it was his own creation he could say man i declare you free woman i declare you free that's it and it would have been over however the word didn't come as a spirit to say oh yeah quickly nail me let me die he became a child and grew because if you must function in this kingdom aside from adam and eve you must grow whoever comes and appears must return back are we together let me tell you 
anybody that does not grow in this kingdom cannot stay more than a certain period of time you have to leave that's why when angels come in the bodies of men they cannot stay in their physical body for long they must translate the same way if you are out of your body in a vision or in a, a, a supernatural experience there is a time lapse that you must return back to your body otherwise if you don't your spirit will not be able to return back again occultists will tell you this those who have visionary encounters will tell you there were prophets who were in the spirit having encounters they returned back and they were sick they were sick for many days because they were almost losing it look at people who came back from the dead the first thing is give them food read your bible when people came back to life jesus said go and get food and give them because they would be so weak their spirit has separated for a long time if they don't give them food the spirit will go back is god helping us to understand covenants 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 our fathers innocently came and this is what they told them just give your life to jesus christ and the moment you do it everything is gone now brothers and sisters i have taught you two dimensions of operating in the kingdom there is the prophetic dimension of the speakings of god there is the prophetic dimension of the word realities from god's standpoint and there is the experience of that reality are we together in the eye of god there should be nobody in shika right now in the mind of god no doctor should have a job praying for the sick are we together because none in, no inhabitant in the same zion will say i am sick but he didn't tell you what is the dynamics that will keep them healthy he just told you they would say they would not say i am sick are we together but you go to shika now and see people who are sick that does not mean god lied there is something we don't understand in the mind of god nobody should go to hell again right from when jesus resurrected talk to me are there still people going to hell who created the hell satan no god is still watching them in the mind of god there is enough supply by the power of the holy spirit but there are children still crying in sudan today these children are crying in sudan they are crying until they get to a state of coma yet god is still sitting on his throne can't he get up where was the bread that the angel sent that came and fed israel be careful when you just assume that some things are done if god is to show mercy just like that the first is to go to sudan and help those children first before he comes to you we make costly assumptions i'm all right everything is okay with me and the devil says i like this generation you just continue and sometimes you know we are very deceived because the moment our hands touch money most people think they are delivered because they have money the moment you have financial resources because you see in this our world is driven by economy the moment you have money there are many things you can do with money money is also a force are we together with money you can build a house with money you can travel for a medical trip with mo so because of that they don't sense the the weight of the spiritual consequences and so because of the abundance of financial resources they will tell you i'm all right you keep watching you will start seeing things that money cannot do and money cannot buy they told you the blessings that this covenant will bring but they didn't tell you the consequences that follow when they, they are violated all of a sudden your innocent father and mother just got up and said as for me and my family i will serve the lord and although the altars and those who did them are gone but the altars and the covenant still stand what did you say you would do you will not serve these idols again yes i will serve jehovah the god of heaven all right on legal terms we bring before the heavenly council the report this was the agreement the realm of the spirit is a legal realm hear what i'm teaching you the realm of the spirit is a legal realm when abel died the blood of abel could not kill cain automatically it had to bring a petition why didn't cain just die immediately no the soul that sins he shall die so when abel died why didn't his blood just no 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 
the blood had to cry before God. God had to summon Cain. Cain, there is a case before you here. The blood is the witness in the tabernacle of heaven. What of the redemption of men? Jesus, after dying here, had to carry the blood to the tabernacle. Father, here is the blood I have brought. And the father said, that's correct. Now put that blood upon the tabernacle. You see, these are the, like, the justice systems of the kingdom. So these spirits can stand and say, look, this is it. It's an agreement. It's on this. Many of you think that when the demons present this to God, God will say, no, I died already. My blood is speaking. No, if that were so, then you didn't need to confess Jesus to be saved. The blood that was shed should just save you automatically. Why did you need to come and verbalize and enter into that personal agreement for it to work for you? There are strong reasons and there are cases you must present. And these spirits by themselves, not even Jesus Christ overrode them. He went through the required system now he has become the head of principalities he didn't cancel them he is the head of all of them they are still there he has only risen above them it's in your bible is god helping us we are going to pray these are truths that i have seen why is it that regardless of the blood of jesus there are still people today you go to the village go to zaria city and someone will sit down and concoct a charm for you and you will carry that charm and go and do something and it will work and god is still there on his throne watching how many people have used divination to do business and they prospered part of their charm made you go to their shop and you bought you bought something and he said from today i'll start buying eggs from you and yet there is a horn hanging in front of that shop and the day you were angry at the man you still went back again praying in tongues while you are going to go and buy the eggs terrorists sit down and make enchantments in the realm of the spirit and they go and their agenda is achieved no power stops them not military might not anything brothers and sisters something is wrong we must understand the power we have trivialized covenants too much we have trivialized it i'm not planting fear remember this only part one don't stop here if you stop here you have been greatly destroyed because the just this teaching alone will produce a lot of imbalance in your life until you hear the other versions so you don't stop at what you have heard now i always balance my teaching i'm opening your eyes tonight to the reality of these truths to say they are not real is flattery my life refused to rise until i address these things hallelujah my grandfather was a reverend he lived and died serving God. They were part of those who hosted the missionaries, the early missionaries that came to the north. You would think that would change my life automatically. It didn't. Oh. It didn't. Let me ask you a question. You look at this place and you see people sitting outside. I was so touched. Regardless of the rain, beating people here, and the discomfort many of them patiently stood at the window and everything finished and they went to drop their chairs and sit down is that normal for people to do do you think people have that time to encode what, what is what is the big deal about me no it's more than what your eyes see the same way you can prepare a table and call guests and nobody comes is in the bible prepare the table somebody said i just married my wife please i need to spend time with her and what happens there i just built a house and jesus said okay go and compel them it's called anakazu the power that compels are we together that a man can do business with god and a covenant can empower a man to rise in a strange way I read a documentary about a niche, a particular nation in Middle East, Ejimi. Their hair is five meters long. 
five meters all of them not just one old person that's how they are five meters long long hair like that no matter who you are once you are a lady and you are born there you must have that long hair it's not normal the same way people get they give birth to you um i i schooled somewhere years ago where if you gave birth to a child before you start breastfeeding the child you will touch alcohol with your finger and put it in the child's mouth you will first taste it before breast milk and you'll be wondering why the child will will not be able to do anything wrong with him i'm not insulting cultures we are all in this this is africa what of some of you before you get married they tie black ropes on trees and tell you to dance around them you are in a hurry to marry and you don't know what happened you are just dancing how long you just dance and they do all kinds of things they send spirits with you and they tell you that the purpose of that thing is to send spirits to protect you it may be well-meaning and then you just look and say i don't want any nonsense spirit to protect me and all of a sudden you enter your room in the night and a dirty slap on your face you don't see the hand but you know it's physical and then you start seeing images of grandfather grandmother one ancestor that has gone some of you may even be your physical parents notice what happens when you run back to tell your parents that dream you just tell them i saw a man with a mark on his face he told me to come to him your father will keep quiet and look at your mother and say it's all right they'll say he's back home he's back because they know they know exactly what it means is the reason why we don't succeed look at the amount of well-meaning nigerians who never succeed they go through the rigors of the 364 system and hold their certificate run to abuja no way run to Jos, run to lagos go abroad no way and then they finally go to some of these countries as graduates with mscs and all they are doing is scrubbing toilets and then another person encounters comes into a ministry as a territory that has a covenant with god and just enters that ministry and in two months things change in his life and the person is wondering what happened and for that two months maybe the man of god has not even been around you step into another thing the ark of obed edom remember the ark of god and dagon until the ark came dagon was always standing but when they dropped dagon side by side they found out by the next day that Dagon fell face forward. Something will fall in your life and, and, and you will know that something has fallen. I don't want to go ahead of myself. You can always know when the deliverance power of God has worked. The simple litmus test is strange results. The moment results begin to come unhindered is a sign that something has given way. But except that power comes you can stand like this and it will block you almost forever some of you are moving physically but you are bound let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray isaiah 61 let's just find somewhere to stop tonight isaiah 61 the spirit of the lord is upon me who is speaking who is speaking please because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. Now look at the categories of people Jesus was sent to. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to who? The captives. And the opening of prison. That means there are physical people who are walking on two legs. But in the realm of the spirit they are prisoners. You are moving physically but in the realm of the spirit you are in the same spot and very soon your life will show you you are in the same spot all your achievements will reduce back and you will see that after 10 years you are in the same spot you you are increasing in education you are increasing in business you are increasing in everything but your result is remaining there there is captivity the bible calls them lawful captives lawful captives who is a lawful captive he was sent in captivity legally legally 
legally brothers and sisters i wish i didn't have to be the one telling you this but it's a truth i have to tell you some of you seated here looking at me right now hearing me online as i speak to you now your families are in need of deliverance as individuals you are in need of deliverance you are in need of the power of god not a temporary deliverance i'm going to be teaching you next week that it is possible to have a temporary deliverance yes it is it is very possible because the bible says that i hold the keys of david and i can open a door that no one can shut that means there are doors you can open and can be shut again is it in your bible that the doors will be open day and night and shall not be shut meaning if it's open and when your destiny helpers are coming it's shut they have not they go back the doors can open and can shut but there is something that can keep them open that's only the time you receive the forces of the gentiles because sometimes the door will open and you leave the man of God but before the Gentiles come the door has been closed but there is a mystery that I will teach you it's called the key of David and the Bible says that when a man possesses that key you can open a door and leave it open and no power will shut it I saw this in my life that's why you can go to any city and favor still follows you because it's a master key it's the key of David Halagbara you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi, you are the glorious God. Alagara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi, you are the glorious Alagara. There are men who are free sit down but the works of their hands are not free as individuals they will prosper but get into anything it will fail there are pastors who are free but their churches are in captivity as a person you are not hungry but your church will never rise there are people who only regional doors open you see the earth has six regions i will teach you this there are six regions of the earth six the number of man the earth has he given to man there are six regions of operation on this earth and if it is not open to you you will know there are regions you go to that you know the door is closed there are northern people who can never go to the south and prevail you can have crowds here you go to the south and you see four five people you come back to your place of territory and the door is open but when the gates are open the bible says talking about the prisoner the jailer he said all doors open all not some not some all doors open all doors open all doors open you will thank me many of you are you are uncomfortable with what i'm teaching you now but i promise you what will become of your life you will be too grateful to keep quiet you will say apostle thank you sir thanks so this is the key it will work like fire if you understand what i'm teaching you there is no devil that can put this ministry down the mysteries that surround this ministry are too many let me tell you it's not because the devil cannot come and fight uh -uh. even in the sleep there is something alive it was programmed already it's a system of victory he said now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph there are systems in the kingdom that when you engage by the grace of god and with all humility there is no region i've gone to that they don't like me because you see there is a key it is not normal for people like that they like you today somebody hates you badly tomorrow somewhere deliverance i go to cities that are supposed to be very poor cities um, you ask the protocol they travel with me and sometimes I'm sitting at the airport looking at people and here's someone coming to me apostle here is this this is this this is I'm, I'm saying God what are you doing what is all this there's no you can't undo it when that yoke is lifted off your shoulder you will know how light life can be 
you will know that that burden was not God that put it there. The Bible says the yoke, the burden, those things are heavy. It says my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hardship is brought about by something. There's something sitting on our destinies, making a shipwreck of our destinies, shipwreck of our lives. You call them coincidences, but they are programmed. Programmed by altars, programmed by ignorance. That's why God sent me to bring this message. For now, it's sufficient for you to know. At least I've begun to give you answers. I have not given you the whole answer. But you can go back now knowing that so this is what is happening. This is why after Koinonia, I go back home and my parents quarrel me. So it's a reaction of a spirit knowing that salvation is coming. I now see why when I finish praying and fasting, everybody annoys me. The day I say I want to fast, that's the day even my best friends fast fight me it's not about the best friends they are monitoring day and night for when salvation will come the operation of familiar spirits we'll talk about that next week the spirits that grow with men and grow with territories the any trace of revival that they see coming there is an attack they discredit the people who try to bring it that's why everybody that is anointed truly to bless people is greatly persecuted greatly hated for a very long time before the truth comes you know why because these dark powers will make men hate you you are coming to cause men to rise there are some of your dear beloved loved ones who may not exactly like me it's not true there's no man who doesn't like me there are spirits there are yokes so now if this lady goes for koinonia she will come back with a revelation and the 150 years captivity in this family is about to go no way let's find a way let's make her discouraged all of a sudden you find out i don't even want to go to this koinonia again and the day that your word comes that's the day you are not around listen I have studied extensively because I don't want to teach people a lie and I don't want to mislead people and confuse them I love you too much I have studied why many people don't rise in life and I'm telling you this is the explanation it's not like you are so dull most of these scientific explanations are not there I didn't always have favor in my life many men of God will not open up and tell you the truth it wasn't always like this I knew the forces that gave way but when they gave way I knew the difference goodness your life will change my brother my sister it will surprise you how do I know I'm under captivity look at the hardship in your life look at everything when results that should happen don't happen something stopped it look at this promise walk and come come He's supposed to walk normally because nothing should stop him. Now you try to come. Try to hold him. Try to drag him at the back while he's coming. Come, promise. Are you seeing? Ordinarily, he's supposed to have arrived by now. But he's doing... You can't see what is at his back. Him too, he can't see it. But something is holding him. This is your destiny. By now, there are things that should have happened. You see it in your dreams. That you are, you are 10 years behind in what god has told you even in ministry you know that at th this is the level of anointing i should be working in this is the level of favor you you see it in your dream but when you wake up try coming and the yokes say no way you are not going we held your father oh your father was a pastor we held him till we killed him don't you think we'll let you go but the lord sent me by fire and by an anointing that in the name of jesus the son of the living god that everything sitting on anyone's destiny must drop down tonight that's how my destiny was i saw it happen to my family i saw it happen to well-meaning people i saw it happen within the territory of my growth no one could ever do anything nice today build a house at 25 and see how people will insult you where did you get money from you have started doing something that is fetish you are a demon you are this come by 21 years old and say look god has given me grace so look at the can look at the house they will first step back and say how old are you 
21 sit down something is wrong we have been so held back we don't even know what speed looks like again come promise he's been held back this is you enter your new level in ministry you are standing there enter your new level ha. customers want to come and something diverts them they don't even know why they hate you your shop is like is like mara bitter water you just carry anointing oil and pour it there and the demons laugh say you you think that we are stupid people and you close that shop and do a night vigil ba, 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 ba. by morning the small five minutes sleep here the demons come again to tell you you just wasted your time oh, there are mysteries in this kingdom it is not like what you are doing is wrong if you put yam in an attempt to make fried rice is yam needed for fried rice but yam is food many of us are just combining any spiritual thing blood of jesus fire fast yet this anything you must work circumspectly there is a formula for real deliverance watch this all of a sudden this is a strong man holding this guy and all of a sudden through the greatness of thy power watch this something breaks this for 10 years and in one month this guy just runs even him he's surprised he said no 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 this is not normal why are the helpers suddenly coming where have you been i wanted to come to you once and again but satan listen i wonder where the people that blessed me today were when i was crying and said lord send me help i have loved you i thought just prayer like that is what will solve the problem ah don't miss please don't miss this by the time we get to part three i'm going to show you the mystery of the three witnesses that on earth there are three that bear witness in heaven there are three that bear witness are we together now i will show you how to engage with spiritual intelligence many of you will be surprised i'm teaching you something that has worked in my own life So all of a sudden you find out that your life becomes an unending wonder somebody who should not bless you just comes to bless you a door that should not open just opens as a pastor all of a sudden members start coming from everywhere they start bringing you invitation please can you come there can you come there and you are wondering whereas you can be anointed and you sit down six months nobody's placing a demand on your grace they can say man of god you are so anointed and they leave you like that oh you are such a great doctor every time good things are coming they leave you many of your uncles who come home and say hey and i just gave five people jobs you are a graduate i just remembered he didn't just forget he was made to forget because in the spirit there is something called the book of remembrance if that book is not open you will waste your time on earth I'm showing you mysteries my brother my sister if you understand what I'm teaching you you may just look a little controversial but your results will astonish you you will triumph from one level of success to the other some of you I, and I, I'm not saying you should do it but I got to a realm where God will send my account number to people in a dream people are sleeping and God is sending account number sending this blessing in koinonia 70 percent of this ministry is run and funded by people i don't know most of them mysteriously by the finger of god i would have died like a chicken with yokes upon my head imagine the captivity i would have put you inside i would have carried my yoke and curses and brought upon your life and you find out that you are coming here and your life is not moving you go to somewhere and they will tell you that guy this man of god he is the cause for your failure they are not exactly lying they are saying something that is coming from him is what is adding to your fight that's why you find out that people listen carefully look at look at what is happening are you seeing that now listen my brother my sister let me tell you this we're going to pray but 
I want you in this month of July, please give your destiny your attention. Just settle down. Are we together now? There are lots of imbalances in this subject. I've studied it. I will balance it for you. Many of us have gotten things. You've gotten it here and there, but there's imbalance on both sides. My assignment is to create a very sound and balanced view. But it is enough for you to know tonight that if your life is not experiencing the liberty the word of God says, you are still in Mount Zion, but you are far from your possession until there is real deliverance. Real deliverance. I have prayed for pastors I have prayed for leaders I have prayed for individuals and I've watched their lives shift in remarkable ways I remember some years ago that's why we always pray for those getting married before they get married do you know why I pray for them it's not necessarily because maybe I'm trying to show that I'm the most anointed person it's not it's not pride at all I'm just trying to help them over 80% of the people are you see a nice wife and her husband just come oh both of you are getting married when in two weeks may God bless you okay let me pray for you I barely lift my hand and starts manifesting that's the spirit keeping quiet when you put a ring you are putting a ring for many people and the spirit will say congratulations finally you have welcomed me to your house because marriage is a covenant that's why you will find out that the man will behave well it's not that he's behaving well the spirit leaves him just go to the marriage and all of a sudden the moment you get married you will see the old him come the smoker arises again the drunkard and you turn and say i thought you were a sweetheart and the guy gives you a dirty slap it's not him he's not alone the, the, the solution is not divorce find where real power is genuine raw power and fire the apex of the power of God is shown in deliverance. Hmm. A dislodging of light over darkness that somebody can walk away free and all of a sudden, a man that used to be a terrible man just changes. I told you that nobody is intrinsically bad. All these drunkards you see around, all these liars, there is a spirit and the spirit does not go by counseling okay let's counsel young man be nice eh? and he say yes mommy make sure you are nice don't do anything don't steal against you i will never steal you even cry you say thank you you are my boy <laughs> the spirit is outside waiting as soon as the guy comes i will show you the access points he will just step in and all of a sudden that thief wakes up in the night notice how they steal no matter where you hide it the spirit will tell them where it is they don't know it's not that the spirit speaks to them it leads them to where it is you hide money under the carpet he will just stand and look and roll the carpet he didn't just roll it the spirit are we together my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by. I used to stay in area BZ in the, the, the in Ebu there. I remember that night, the night I was tired and I was fed up. Oppression left, right, and center. I said, What is this? Every time it is night, I start becoming afraid because I and my own you see it's a terrible thing for your eyes to be open sometimes because my own I don't see visions as I'm watching you like that that's how they enter they don't knock they don't open the curtain they just come in in rows like that and there's me lying down and my goodness those spirits press me they choke me I'm shouting Jesus nothing is happening once it's evening like that do you know to a point that I don't sleep no matter how big the bed is I will lie down at the edge of the bed so that whatever happens I will try to push myself to fall I know what oppression is it's only a man that loves you that will open up his car like this and tell you the truth are you hearing what I'm telling you sometimes I can sit down I'm hearing two people talking in the physical but to wake up like it's happening to many of you once you go to bed time to wake up is a struggle 
you will try to wake up something is you will try and lay down you wake up physically and you can't tell anybody anything for how long will that remain don't you know that that is the administration of death I'm about to give you a job and all of a sudden you go to bed and here comes a stranger whether it's a man or a woman a boy or girl come sometimes to sleep with you you can even wake up sometimes physically and know that something has happened and you go to the same office and they say sorry leave this place a lecturer said I will help you let's look at the course you get up have you not seen this happen we are not honest enough that's why God will not you see it is when you are honest and open it's not an embarrassment my brother my sister if I'm not ashamed of telling you my own experience be sincere God has given me a reputation today to the body these messages are going very far if I'm looking at my ego I will not tell you what I'm telling you now I will just summarize it and round up and tell you I was always fine I'm saying this to comfort people that if the apostle you can admire today the devil did not even spare him then you better listen to what he's saying otherwise your pride will punish you again and again I'm going to be teaching you the dynamics but I remember that night I got tired and fed up I pray someone will get to that stage where you are tired and say Lord this can't continue it can't continue again I remember going to cry before God I prayed that time we used to have long tennis court I cried before God that night I said Lord you have revealed this thing about my destiny you have to help me and the Lord showed me some of the things I'll be showing you now when I found the light brothers and sisters it was raining I ran from that place I ran to BZ and I stood outside in front of my room and I begged the spirits to come I didn't cast them out I beg them to come and if you find them anywhere beg them to come if I were lying you would have seen the result in ministry because they will hijack anything that can be hijacked are we together I remember when God started talking to me about finances I told you when I was praying and all of a sudden my zinc just opened and I saw a strange being like like um, you know how a dinosaur is but the eyes one eye was like the normal human head and the tail had his own life you could disconnect it and he was looking at me with fire and with fury and he just said so you think you can bring God's people into abundance end of discussion I said so this is it this is the spirit that has held the financial destiny of territories of nations regardless of what you study regardless of what you do you will walk hard and eat like an elephant there is a force that is sitting but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing down. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing down. I like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to for the next two or three minutes. I like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of July we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken pray koidonia Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabara to go to Shepegate. Take the Katamara Kato Shabara. Le Ponto Soto Pero Shabara Kata. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived my finances my family
family arise oh god of heaven shabadakata shabadakata lakata kata kata my ministry is time to break forth on the left on the right Pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka taka 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 taka
Alléluia. 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 Listen. Listen. Let this month be a month of intense prayer. Listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. When you are teaching on spiritual warfare, it is important to be extremely prayerful because you are touching the very nerve of the realm of the spirit. Listen, I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. Don't let food cheat you in this season. Because it's not a one-time thing that you are doing this night. I'm going to give you an assignment now. Let me tell you, this month, something must break open. I, I came angry. This mystery, understand it once and for all and be free. Hallelujah. Right. I want to give you an assignment now. Those under the anointing, just guide them. Do you believe in night prayers? Do you pray in the night? If I give you an assignment, will you do it? Anybody... <laughs> I want to I want to I want to plug you into a deep deep mystery it's not just night prayer you just listen the night time is a mystery in the realm of the spirit 24 hour is counted from night to morning not morning till night in the physical we count our day from morning to night in the realm of the spirit it is and the evening and the morning a day starts officially in the night not in the morning are we together and the second mystery you need to know is that the night time is likened to a woman who is ready to be pregnant are we together now the night time is like a woman who is ready to receive seed that's why people die in the night somebody that could survive in the day once it gets to the night they start looking at you and by night they are gone if you can be obedient to do what i'm telling you my brother my sister you'll be surprised just it won't it won't be long just 15 minutes can you do that every night huh? from this night till we finish this series who will do it 15 minutes anytime 12 o'clock one o'clock whatever just try to make sure you will see how the devil will fight you with sleep all of a sudden 11 30 you are feeling as if no matter what you need to do tell the devil you're a liar blast in tongues huh you can play one koinonia message if you want anyone at all and blast in tongues for that 15 minutes and i want you to pray are you getting what i'm saying cry that by the mercy of god i know i've not taught you on the mystery of mercy i'm going to when i teach you on deliverance i will now teach you on the forces of deliverance one of it is the mystery of mercy if mercy does not visit you there can be deliverance thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yet the set time don't miss this series but for now i like you to pray don't be careless you don't have don't do it like a ritual do it with revelation this is not some occultic ritualistic thing but please i beg you in the name of the lord discipline yourself to do this and many of you will see what will happen from this night if you can just get up if you have a roommate explain to the roommate say please don't be angry if you hear me pray you don't have to pray and harass people and disturb people so that they don't arrest you but i like you to pray find a message sit down that's why god gave you a phone put all of these things please hear what i'm telling you just do it every day non-stop you can wake yourselves are we together you can wake up and wake someone else do this thing every night you won't do it forever just do it from now i promise you from now before friday even if you have been praying in the night before just do what i'm asking you to do ah! many of you the first one or two nights you will see the visions you will see those spirits will rise up with anger who is doing this who is touching a nerve 
you will see it in your dreams don't be discouraged some of you as you pray you will see dreams where they are oppressing you it's a sign that this thing you are doing is don't worry about whatever you see let me give you a side effect some of you will get up in the morning your loved ones will fight you this coming week like never before doors will seem to close don't mind it it's a reaction i'm giving you this because you will be surprised that it is by that time you'll find out that your roommate will annoy you something will annoy you. just take out time do what i'm asking you to do take your eyes away and pray my destiny lord open it up my destiny some of you will have dreams where you will be taken back to even when your parents were small and god will start showing you the movie this is it and you get up and say so this is why favor is closed are you going to do this may the grace come upon you may the grace it takes discipline but i pray that you will be child like enough to do this do you know that was what i was doing every night i didn't know i didn't know that's what the spirit of god was doing and then light just broke and god showed me something he said this is it Are we together so take out time pray maybe just 15 minutes god grants you grace you can push 30 minutes why not 15 minutes is fair for everybody if you are born again and you can't pray for 15 minutes something is really wrong with your spirit man no matter if you minus 15 minutes from your sleep time it shouldn't affect you at all except the spirit of slumber you see all these various spirits you have to deal with them manage yourself be wise don't go and sleep in a place that will not allow you not to pray be serious are we together those of you who are staying in the campus if god grants you grace you can walk out stroll out do so in groups because of our society now don't just sit down you have your house just pray you don't have to shout and disturb people but just do that be sensitive with your notebook be sensitive with your phone or whatever because of the extreme revelations fire will fall from heaven and God will just say this is why the five people in your family don't have children this is it then the secret was revealed unto Daniel it was in a night time Daniel knew why he told the king wait oh king night is coming be patient when it was night he went to pray and the secret was revealed to Daniel father grant us grace in this spiritual exercise let everyone who is connected to this ministry in whatever part of the world those following the grace to be involved in this fully in the name of jesus let it be supplied to you and i pray by the power of the holy spirit that once and for all through this series god will judge the yokes that keep you and your family down forever in the name of we jesus. pray that your power your light your grace will prevail over us we pray that your word will dispel every darkness let there be such a demonstration of the power of light over darkness i pray oh god that age-long captivities will come on their knees tonight open us to the mysteries of the spirit let there be a performance in the name of jesus christ mm. hallelujah let me just make one or two announcements and then we'll go into the word of god tonight's word will come with fire fire every time most times when the lord wants to reveal to me how the meeting will be he will use one of the emblems of the supernatural to signify what he's doing and while i prayed i saw fire that's what i saw fire is one of the elements of the supernatural they are the there are five elements that God manifests himself with. There is the earth, there is light, there is water. And so, I know that God is doing great things tonight and we bless God for the worship team and that which they did tonight. Please take it higher for me. We started a series last week examining the subject of deliverance and um, I must confess to you that there's so much to teach especially when you dapple into this subject and um, 
my focus please let me have your attention my focus is not necessarily to give us a thorough exegesis on the subject of demonology but i'm limiting the context of my teaching in this series just to the aspects of deliverance there's something that i want us to understand about the nature and the character of deliverance are we together so i have edited a number of things and um, we may not go into certain very deep details like the origin of satan the pre-adamites the nephilims uh, sons of belial and all of these other things that help to extensively talk about the kingdom of darkness i hope that in another series we'll get to it but um, i just want to show us um the the deliverance dimension that's that's just where i want us to focus on and then to help us understand and appreciate a few things let us also take note that the motif behind this series is to help to create intelligence in the area of deliverance i think that um, there is a lot of gap in knowledge which stems from ignorance or exaggeration and so we're hoping to create a system of balance many in an attempt to scorn at the subject have become victims of what only this subject can set them free from and like the dear lady shared when she was here and then others um, in an attempt to focus on it have pushed it beyond its boundary of relevance and their whole lives regardless of supposed deliverance does not show anything around the victory of christ so there is always a need to put everything in context are we good tonight hold hands while you are seated and let's just pray in the spirit to open up our capacity for spiritual understanding we pray in the spirit so that our spirits will be alive and our minds will be receptive to the truths of God's word. Let the scroll be opened. Let the mysteries be unveiled. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight we are going to be looking at the subject of deliverance. And then I will be sharing with you. We started last week. I'm just giving you the course content for tonight's discussion we'll be looking at the subject of deliverance and then we'll also revisit again what i call access points helping you to understand the gateways that authorize darkness please listen you are listening for yourself you are listening for your families and for those following online regardless of what your perspectives are about the subject of deliverance give me a chance to bring you the word of god and let's look at it together uh, as always we are allowed to vet the quality of whatever is being communicated and to receive that which we believe is right but it's important to at least give a chance there are people once they hear they leave they don't even wait they just close their hearts and um, it's, it's going to be a dangerous experience if you just shut your heart at any dimension and any matter of the kingdom because jesus himself addressed this subject so let's give ourselves a chance to be built by the word of god i will be teaching on levels of satanic influence that will be the third discussion as god grants us grace i'll do my best to see that we end on time so that we can rest we have a lot already tomorrow levels of satanic influence or satanic activities would we'll look at it and then if god grants us grace and the time we're able to manage time well we will look at the flesh 
praise the lord obadiah chapter one there's just one chapter and verse 17 let's begin our teaching for tonight obadiah one and verse 17 but upon mount zion shall be deliverance it's amazing where deliverance was meant to happen it was not meant to happen outside then if delivered you come to mount zion the fact that you experience deliverance is proof that you are standing upon mount zion are we together so this already tries to settle a very wrong notion that deliverance and etc should happen outside of the church outside of where god is then when you are delivered you now come god's system has always been come as you are and then you are made into what he wants you to be so upon mount zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possessions we began last week by saying that there is a relationship between the mystery and the ministry of deliverance and obtaining your possession notice from this scripture the bible says it is their possession so it is not a possession that is someone else's and then it will be given to you it is your possession it is your inheritance are we together so there is no doubt to the fact that it is a it is it is allotted already for you but in order to possess it although it is your possession being your possession is one thing becoming a possessor of your possession is another thing are we together so um this is a very good platform to begin tonight's teaching the bible says the house of jacob shall possess their possession that means it is possible that they do not possess their possession it is your possession it is your inheritance but to come into the experience of that possession the bible says there is something that happens and that's what we are discussing what is deliverance let's discuss that subject what exactly is deliverance the bible is full of texts that talk about deliverance from the old testament the gospels the epistles and even in the book of revelation so what exactly is deliverance um let me give us a foundation and then i will give you my definition now the first thing i want you to know about deliverance please look up before you write is that um generally deliverance has to do with a system of rescue a system of freedom from maybe bondage danger i'm giving you the overall scope every time we mention the word deliverance it has to do with a system that provides rescue a system that provides freedom from bondage from danger and generally speaking from evil every time we talk about deliverance it has to do with rescue it has to do with emancipation it has to do with freedom from any of these three bondage danger and then generally speaking evil are we together let's look at two scriptures exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 i hope i'm right it says wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out the word bring you out there is the word deliverance I will deliver you from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will read you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments so we see different expressions here that relates to deliverance the Lord is saying I will bring you out from their burdens I will read you out of their bondage I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgment why this is because of what happened in chapter 1 and verse 11 let's go to chapter 1 and 11 same exodus chapter 1 and verse 11 it says therefore 
they did set over them taskmasters listen carefully the purpose of the deliverance in chapter 6 is because of a situation that we find in chapter 1 that therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for pharaoh treasure cities python and Ramesses, all of the gods of egypt so they were they were subject to a system of labor a system of bondage and a burden what was the assignment to build cities for other gods are we together they were mandated as an act of affliction to build treasure cities where they kept the 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 booties that they had gotten from war and from oppressing neighboring nations and then to also build different tabernacles places of rest for all their gods and their idols and the lord said that i will bring you deliverance so before there is need for deliverance there must have been a system of bondage are we together that subjects men that subjects territories that subjects both animate and inanimate things to some sort of danger some sort of oppression and so on and so forth are we together let's look at colossians chapter one paul is teaching the church in Colossae. colossians chapter one verse 13 and 14 and then i would like to teach something very briefly here before we move on it says who hath delivered us talking about jesus now who hath delivered us from the power of darkness everybody say power of darkness notice the bible didn't just say he delivered us from darkness he delivered us from the power of darkness that means darkness is powerful darkness is a force it is very unwise to believe that um all of these spiritual forces are not powerful we only say they are powerless relative to the superiority of god's intelligence and the power that is now in motion through the christ are we together when you are contrasting darkness relative to the excellency of god's power his all-surpassing victory then it is valid to consider satan and all his cohorts as powerless but relative to the spiritual advantage the plane from which these spirits operate it is very childish and immature to believe that they do not wield any kind of power and force on their own even a normal human being who can access the realm of the spirit any dimension higher than the three-dimensional realm has an advantage over one who does not sustain that uh, that ability are we together now i have taught you that any dimension you can access outside of the three-dimensional realm will provide you an advantage over the natural person scientists would tell us that even lower animals that we call lower have the ability to perceive danger and perceive reality that the normal man who is unrefined are we together cannot perceive is that true we see dogs we see animals respond to people some of them have very superior sense organs these are beings that are not empowered by any kind of spirit whatsoever yet they wield an advantage so it is it is i'm, I'm just buttressing on this to help us understand because you see one of the greatest challenges with the body of christ is we just copy everything we know we never take out time to allow the spirit of revelation to break down the truths that have been passed down from generation to generation just because we read it in a book and a senior man of god advocated it or certain people that represent pillars to the body most of them had the understanding but most of us just receive it as head knowledge and we teach it in bible schools so most believers just have the chaff of that knowledge there is no substance that backs up their conviction are we together so darkness is powerful paul is not ashamed to tell us in fact here's how jesus said it he said behold i give you power are we together that's luke 10 19 can we just run there and then return back to colossians luke chapter 10 and verse 19 
behold i give you power listen the word power there is not the greek word dunamis is the word exousia is the word authority right uh, is is a is an authorization to legislate rather than the ability to by yourself cause change are we together behold i give you exousia authority to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over how many all the power jesus himself is acknowledging that the enemy has power but that he has given you an ability to manifest and legislate above that power and then he says nothing shall by any means hurt you the only reason why nothing shall hurt you is because you are operating from a dimension that is higher than the existing that means if something is hurting you it means you are not accessing and working with that power or you do not have knowledge on how to put it to work are we together now god bless you so back to colossians chapter 1 and verse 13 i hope we are together who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and then the bible says hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son 14 in whom we have redemption through the blood even the forgiveness of sins so he's telling us the basis for that translation that the the possibility to be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son has happened on the basis of redemption and that by the blood are we together now so salvation is a form of deliverance the salvation that has been given believers today that we enjoy the bible does not just call it redemption alone the bible calls it deliverance what then is deliverance write this down i did my best to scrabble an intelligent definition that will capture everything that i believe the word of god um says about deliverance so let's let's try and see if my definition makes sense ready deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of christ or jesus christ don't worry take it gradually i will repeat myself deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and the authority of jesus christ i'm going to continue i'm just breaking so that you write let's take it again deliverance is a system for experientially underline the word experientially establishing the victory and authority of jesus christ can i continue over satan comma demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of jesus christ over satan demons and all the powers of darkness over satan demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives by this definition we see that deliverance for a believer and the scriptural approach to deliverance is much more than the activity of physical exertion like a present day fight deliverance is concerned with establishing making a reality that has been finished to become your experience here and now are we together so that deliverance is a system for experientially establishing the victory and authority of christ jesus over satan demons and all the powers of darkness concerning our lives i wrote something small here that deliverance um and then by extension spiritual warfare for the believer in christ today is about establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting for it listen carefully our approach 
to the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare has to do with establishing and manifesting victory rather than fighting to create it it's important that you have this understanding and this revelation alone will make all the difference in your approach to the subject of deliverance and the subject of spiritual warfare that you and I should approach the subject of deliverance from a perspective that seeks to establish and manifest the victory that is already wrought through the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ rather than an attempt to physically exert energy to fight and win as though it was a product of your own exertion I think this is this in itself I can dwell all night explaining this because this may be the reason why many many well-meaning individuals and by extension deliverance ministries get little or no victory out of the the abundance of the physical exertions many of us here may be victims of that experience so we are not talking about a state here where you fight for victory in terms of physically confronting satan one on one as it were i will tell you where that revelation came from are we blessed so say after me deliverance for the believer has to do with establishing and manifesting authority over darkness rather than fighting for it are you getting the point now let me dramatize something here please come doctor come watch this you stand here and um, hold my book this is your inheritance this is your possession please look up i want to dramatize something that will help us you stand here and then ah, they are all ladies where are the gentlemen sam come now watch this the bible says and you have to understand this is where i think many people find confusion when the bible when the bible speaks look at this very carefully god speaks from the standpoint of eternity he does not speak as if he's talking within the frame of time are we together so in the speakings of god he always speaks with the expression of completion which is not a lie but then the dynamics of converting the prophetic realities that have been finished in christ to now become the experience of the saints is where there is confusion are we together so the bible tells us from the foundation of the earth the lamb was slain but there are still people going to hell today are we together if the lord is to talk to you now if you were to see jesus jesus will look at you and tell you you should not be crying financially because you are walking in abundance that's how he talks but then you will think that he's being rude and sarcastic to you because at the point he's talking to you you may not even have five naira he cannot speak otherwise his his viewpoint spans he's not dimensional in his approach if he breaks himself to be dimensional it's an act of his mercy to help man understand him are we together that's why he's called alpha omega the word and there was just an expression to help us comprehend he is both the beginning and the end so to him there is nothing like beginning and end in his dimension that does not exist are you getting my point now so god can speak to you and say emeka finish the house by tomorrow whereas you don't even have land that's god speaking emeka finish the house by tomorrow and as at the time he's talking your landlord is waiting with a policeman in front of you and god will never talk about the landlord emeka i have given you your house and your key you will even see it in a vision god giving you key and you say thank you and then wake up from the vision with a, a rude knock from the door by an angry landlord now how do i reconcile what i have seen because god will not change he speaks once 
it is only you that hears twice the first hearing is the hearing of the flesh the second hearing is now the hearing of the spirit that brings understanding once have i spoken but you need to hear twice because the first hearing is from a carnal point but then the holy spirit now helps you to have the ear that the bible says he that hath an ear the second kind of ear you now hear from the spirit the hearing that brings understanding that's why the bible says faith comes by hearing but there is a superior hearing hearing now not just by your senses by the word of god are you understanding what i'm teaching you now so this guy is now confused and he's saying in the realm of the spirit the lord spoke to me and said i have given you abundance yet nothing is happening and then the lord appears to you and you are trying to say oh lord look at all the demons and the witches and then the lord tells you something like my grace is sufficient or my victory is still in force and you wake up and you are like oh god how can you be speaking like this whereas in experience that's what paul was trying to teach the church in hebrew he was quoting from Psalm 5. What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. The Bible says you have made him lower than Elohim. Are we together? You have crowned him with glory and honor. You have set him above the works of your hands. And that in doing that you did not leave anything under his feet. But he creates a dimension. He said but as it is today we do not yet see experience. So you must be able to balance between the prophetic communications of the spirit, the prophetic communications of the word and the experiential manifestation of the same in your life. Otherwise you will die like a chicken quoting the word of God. Between the prophetic speakings of God and the manifestation in your life, there is a mystery that connects them. And those who have this are the ones who become possessors. It is your possession in Christ. But it takes an understanding of what to do to make it your possession here. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. Where? It never said in your life. Thy word is settled in heaven. It will take engaging these mysteries to make the word settled in your life. Ah, your help has come. This, this is already a deliverance for someone. Because for many years you kept jumping oh my god i see victory jesus said it is finished everything is all right wonderful amazing my life is full of beauty and glory you are not lying but after 10 years 15 years your father said this thing and while he was saying it sickness was eating him up till he died i, I don't want you to feel bad i'm not trying to be sarcastic are we together you said this yourself and after 10 years there's nothing in your life that demonstrates the victory of christ and some out of that frustration will just say this is a lie no it's not a lie forever your word is settled but to know how to make it our experience one of the mysteries that have been allocated by the wisdom of god to make spiritual realities that are established in the christ to manifest in our life is called the mystery of deliverance are you getting the point now it is not the only kingdom mystery i've taught you many of them we are approaching one of them now this gentleman wants to possess his possession this is a son of jacob he's read obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17 he's believed are we together now because the bible says whoever believes our reports the arm of the lord will be made manifest in his life now this brother believes but every time standing between him and that inheritance just turn to face me sam is an obstacle this brother has read in the bible that we have been translated colossians 1 13. it didn't say we will be the bible says we have been but he's seen something that is is a cause in his life watch this this guy knows the word of god i hope you understand that he has believed he's a worker in church and he has seen that every time people get to the edge the edge of breakthrough something happens now he said in the name of jesus i don't believe this i am exempted and to his shock regardless of that confession his life is still a victim of it that thing happens as if the thing didn't hear him hmm. are you getting what i'm saying now please listen very carefully 
okay this guy comes from a family where everybody is barren i'm sorry sorry for this are we together everyone is barren and now he makes up his mind no it is god that makes everyone a fruitful i mean he can make the wilderness to be fruitful you know children are heritage from the lord now he has confessed that he has done that well and it is true but in experience now he gets married and to his shock he finds out that his wife cannot get pregnant and he said no the devil is just joking let me just release my faith and you watch what happens one month becomes one year becomes two years becomes decades becomes 20 years and the man is angry by 75 and he's no longer believing in jesus and when you come to him as a zealous young man what giant from koinonia man of god since i was blind say if you don't get out of here i will slap you i spent 60 years forcing the word to work my conclusion is that god alongside all the scammers called preachers are liars some of us that person i just described may be your father may be your mother they will show you pictures of them and reinhard bonke when he was young and tell you i and it in your presence and say i don't believe all that junk again the frustration that comes you come from a family that is full of poverty and goodness you found the truth and you are happy you are rejoicing over it and all of a sudden you find out that you are now a graduate and your elder sisters are looking at you and say we graduated 15 years ago none of us the highest among us just got a contract job for one week and it was over and you come and say it's because you know how arrogant we are young people when we are just touching revelation we mock at others and laugh and say oh sisters it's because of the church you are going to me i'm going to koinonia wait and see what happens then you are a graduate and you celebrate the first christmas as a graduate with no job it touches you and you pretend i don't know i think god is working something powerful after you dance and sing and do what you know to do by five years you now sit with them in a discussion and you are like ah, ah. so this this thing is true this is why my mother was not happy this is why my father was not happy this series is saving you many of you many of you are already going through what i'm saying now and if you don't open your eyes and your ears to listen to the way out you will be very frustrated how about men of god like our sister shared who come from terrible families with idol worship and then they get born again filled with the holy spirit and begin to walk in strange miracles and start a ministry and say oh god god forbid i mean i used to be from a family of idol worship now i'm free and the guy begins his ministry after five years he finds out that the members go down everything goes down an attack comes on him and the ministry and he goes to tell his uncle and the uncle laughs and said why do you think i stopped being a pastor because i was once a pastor were you told he said no so well let me educate you i was once a pastor the crusade that happened in this city i was the chairman organizing committee the same thing that happened you would try to argue and say uncle my own is not like your own he said you he says it's the same thing it's there And then many of you now, just like I was, stand and you are confused. You say, no, no, let me go back to the Bible. And you still see it there. And hath translated us from the kingdom of darkness. And hath translated us, not will translate. And hath translated us. Many of you rush and come to us, men of God, and say, sir, I read here and hath translated me. I believed everything you said. Why is my life like this? Listen to what we tell you you don't have faith or you really don't believe it i if you be, look at me i'm rich i'm entering a jeep so he say i'm okay money can deceive to think just because you have a jeep and you have a nice watch you are free no there are many other dimensions you don't have to be delivered to be rich there are many people under yokes of darkness that are millionaires so be careful lest you use money the reason is because money has a very funny way of making your needs met so it can lie to you to think just because you don't see any obvious need yet you are free we have used money for a long time in the body to mean that i am free 
and say what's the proof look at my estate look at five cars look at a flourishing church does that look like someone under oppression my helpers I, I, I. After reading volumes of books, I went to almost every bookstore I could find and gathered books and read books to prepare myself on fire. I was seeing the power of God move through my life. I was having encounters. And then to my greatest shock, in the midst of that spiritual height, demons come to me regardless. I mean, I started quoting scriptures from secondary school. You would receive awards. There were 52 scriptures. If you could quote, they would give you an award. I don't know how many times I got that award. And you would think, how then should I hide the word in my heart? To quote 52 scriptures every year, new ones. I'm not talking of old ones. I could quote chapters of the Bible. And here comes demons into my room. And I'm shouting in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. And they are not moving. I'm saying in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And they are not moving. <sighs> Who will I tell this? Who will believe me? God, are you have you suddenly become weak? Listen, when you see me just stand to talk and demons are crying, find out what happened. I want to show you where the problem is. These demons will press my neck. The anointing didn't leave me. The anointing is still there. The same way Elisha died of sickness with the healing anointing still in his bones. Why didn't the anointing work while he was deteriorating to death? Yet the anointing raised a dead body who didn't have faith. The dead body was not begging. Please raise me. Just he came in contact with bones. Couldn't the anointing bring back flesh like Ezekiel 37? Because we know it's a possibility. So why didn't the anointing bring back the prophet again? There are mysteries in this kingdom. What you do not know, you can argue to your detriment. It will smash you into pieces like it's happening to many people. We are just not honest to confront truth until we find light. For me, I, I pray that God will make you like me. I don't hear yes sir. I keep searching until the truth is found. Many of you, you see, when the Holy Spirit refuses to allow an answer satisfy you, it's because there is a grace in that area He wants you to reveal to the body. So you come to a man of God, you come to me or anybody, and we just give you explanations uh, to manage our ego. And the Holy Spirit will say, no, no, with all honor, that's not the answer. He's telling you, find out, so that you can help someone. If I didn't pass through what I passed through now, I probably will wave this teaching like many are waving and say, look, let's just focus on Jesus. And you are focusing on Jesus, but you are seeing that something is wrong. Everything the word of God declares is true. It is the system for accessing it we do not know. And what we have been taught is not wrong, but is largely incomplete. This series is to give you the balance. You hear testimonies of people already. Look at the pastors with their churches. Look at the gentlemen that came. Someone from US just gets up. Another person just sends 4.5. You think the person doesn't have relatives in need? Doesn't he have brothers and sisters who are looking for 30,000? And he can't help them. And then come somewhere. I told you, you're on what? Just follow me. By now, this brother is frustrated. Oh God, give me my possession. And he comes and he says, man of God, I'm still waiting. And I said, don't worry. 
Abraham waited 25 years. What, what are you complaining about? You're a small boy. Come on. Just be paid. And I start getting angry. You are getting rude. You are challenging my anointing. My anointing is angry with you. I will curse you. You see that? And the brother leaves me quietly and goes back. And he knows something is wrong. I'm not being sarcastic. I love the body. Listen carefully. There must be an answer to this. That answer is what will bring about the experience of possessing your possession that even even the critic in your life will know that the hand of God this brother has caught this this sister has caught this I prayed to God eh? and I told God I said by the time Lord we finish this series let us hear of testimonies that people will stand up and say no this is this is if not because the person sharing it is there we will think it's a lie or stage manage I told you last week you can know that deliverance has happened to a person and a family by the speed that's where you know that those realities have been piled up in the spirit for many years and it's usually an avalanche overnight doors liftings all kinds of things happen do you believe that a woman who should have had six children and has been barren for six years or for 10 years or 20 years you think it's one child that will come at once? Right. By the time God shifts that barrier, you will be surprised. The kind of testimonies that will surprise you. You believe that a man that has been grounded by witchcraft for decades, the only testimony he will get is a new job that gives him 30,000. When will he recover? No, that's not the kind of testimony that follows deliverance. The kind of testimony that follows deliverance is a sign and a wonder. God makes a statement that I can in delivering you restore the years the canker worm the palmer worm you should be married 20 years ago but then I move and give you triplets two times six children at once but upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance whatever it is and when that happens, the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. So this brother is standing. Then he takes an aggressive step. Watch this. And then his eyes is open in the spirit. Watch this. And he sees a spirit appear to him and tell him you will never make it. But the Bible says, behold, I give you power. So Satan, where did you even get the audacity to show up in my room? Remember your room is anointed. Remember there's a bottle of anointing oil in that room. Don't forget. Remember there's a communion set in that room. Are you getting what I'm saying? Remember while the demon is talking to you, a Bible is on your bed. Have you forgotten? Sometimes a worship song is even playing. Yet he shows up, no invitation, he didn't knock the door. And talks nonsense to you. And all of a sudden he leaves. Who will I tell this to? I can't tell apostle. Because I, I will keep quiet. And that's how many of us have been keeping quiet. As a man of God, you finish preaching in a crusade. And go back in the night. And a spirit comes to molest you. To even sleep with you you get up in the morning who will i tell this embarrassing thing and while you are sitting someone comes for counseling counseling number one man of god there is a demon that comes to sleep with me every night you almost want to run away because that's your own experience too it will shock you that you will lay hands on the person and he will start manifesting and be free and you just wave the person and then return back and say my god now oh god who will deliver me Ay 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 Ebeniza Ebeniza Ay 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 Ebeniza my pastor Hallelujah Please go and sit down guys let's talk now why why does it look like there is a an extreme difficulty for the saints
to make manifest the realities remember the bible says he that did not spare his son are we bible students that he that did not spare his son but offered him up for us will he not with him freely freely mark the word freely give us how many things then the bible says that they that have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness what is their heritage they shall reign yet we do not see this thing happening that means something is wrong so deliverance is one of the mysteries that was allocated by the wisdom remember the bible says that it should be made to principalities and powers the manifold not one fold manifold the multifaceted wisdom of god deliverance is one of the expressions of the multifaceted wisdom of god so deliverance is concerned with experientially establishing and manifesting the victory and authority that we have in the christ rather than physically fighting for it let me tell you where this fighting mentality came from and of course the bible says we should fight the fight of faith and all of that but i mean this kind of fight have you seen people go to sleep and they tell you ah i i fought and this and in a dream you saw yourself fighting the victory was almost there are we together then somebody woke you you get up with anger and annoyance and say i was about to, to stab the last snake and you woke me what kind of you are you are a wicked person watch this and then you go back to sleep again and sometimes the battle continues it is because of the way spiritual things act themselves that we have believed that just because in a dream or in a vision are we together some of you even wake up from that encounter feeling physically exerted so because of that scenario of acting we now believe that warfare is about physically trying to fabricate victory regardless of what you see or the way the expressions come in the spirit the word of god remains true that christ has won the victory are you are you with me now that's where the confusion comes from and especially for those who work very strongly in the prophetic ministry they have helped in no way to amplify this com this co this confusion because what you see if not balanced with mental transformation and a good word base you will confuse people i can stand right now and make her stand and look at doctor in a vision and in that vision i can be seeing him inside a pit are we together and now i say doctor you are in a pit it's not a lie but that is just a prophetic symbolism to mean bondage are we together by the time i engage in whatever mystery the victory may show as him coming out from the pit so over many years of seeing different scenarios i may now write a book or i may now propose a theology are we together where people now start physically fighting to manifest their victory and this is why satan reigns over us because he's a master of the sense realm he knows that what you can see will challenge you let me ask you a question what happened to you last week with your night prayer are you not shocked at the level of attack that amplified you see that it happened for many of us right i told you it will happen because satan is the master of the sense realm you wake up in the night and sleep and go back and the same experience of them oppressing you supposedly happens again some of you as soon as you finish you went back in fact for some of you that activity has been on break since you you became unserious with god but now that you just started a little prayer all of a sudden it came now let me tell you satan will use your senses and tell you the word of god claims this if god were so powerful where is it then you will now dance to the realm of the senses and say kai that means let me go back to sleep in jesus name i must go back for the battle to come you are already defeated there's no possibility of victory under that condition in this kingdom the only instrument listen carefully the only 
the saints don't fight our warfare is the warfare of taking advantage of the forces of the spirit allocated to us the force of the word the force of the blood the name of jesus and all of these mysteries listen very carefully to enforce i repeat enforce if the purpose of your engaging those things is to create a physical fight you are defeated already the devil will eat you up and, and spit you watch this jesus is standing having walked on water to come peter says if it be thou listen carefully now bid me come and jesus says come peter gets up and started walking on water are we together now do you think while peter was walking on the water the water stopped being boisterous it still continued but it's just that because his focus was on jesus are we together that connection so the power that kept him on that water was not in his legs it was on the gaze of jesus are we together now the moment peter didn't stop walking on water he only shifted his gaze to somewhere else and his legs started going down for as long as his gaze was on jesus whatever the storm did now he's looking at jesus did not suddenly make the water quiet it was still boisterous but he was surprised that the water was not moving him the element for the victory was his connection with the eyes of jesus not his ability to walk well for as long as his legs remain but he turned his attention the bible said he saw that's what satan wants you to see satan is a master over the sense realm if he can deviate your focus to make you see the bulkiness of the challenges he will bring your faith down and strike you in a way that will affect you are we together god bless you thank you doctor we discussed access points last week that biblically speaking there are three main access points systems of authorization that satan uses that demons use all occults all spiritism and any kind of extra physical manifestation of evil thrives upon these three platforms number one covenants covenants we discussed it last week i'm just giving us a quick review number one covenants a covenant is the most powerful of the three because i told you that a covenant is a system of authorization and that system of authorization can go beyond an individual that's what makes it powerful my obedience may affect me alone are we together but a covenant can allow me to do something um look at this Dr. Sean is here with his wife, Shade. Are we together? If I ask doctor and I say, sir, I want to come to your house and he says no. Then I turn to his wife and say, Shade, I want to come to your house. And she says, yes, the covenant of marriage. Are we together? If obeyed properly, I have a right to come to that house. And if he quarrels me and say, I thought I didn't invite you. I say, no, your wife who has also become one with you allowed me. You see why covenants are powerful? Because when you see Satan veto certain things about you and comes, it's because he knows someone else you are connected to has authorized him. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The same way in Israel today, I am not aware of many Israelis who have come by themselves to call upon Jehovah the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In fact, if you go to visit Israel, those who take Christians on a tour, the Jewish people are shocked that Christians are crying when they see some of these monuments. To them, it's tourism. They are waiting to be paid. And they see it just come. So this is the cave where my Savior laid. And you kneel down. And the Jew there is in shock. What kind of people are these? You are being emotional. You go near the wailing wall and you are crying and wailing for your sins and choking prayer points at the wall. And the guy is waiting for you to finish and just pay him his money. Yet, in the midst of it, you try to kill that Israeli and a covenant he's not aware of will arise and defend him. What kind of unfair thing is this? They farm on a mountain that should not grow. Yet, there is something that makes the earth to increase to them remember that person doesn't believe in jesus 
yet when God looks at them he sees Abraham and sees the covenant the most feared nation on earth a little nation but indestructible by a mystery that even themselves they cannot understand the rabbinical institutes have spent decades studying what is the secret behind the immunity of the nation of Israel Israel is my firstborn God has made a covenant with the firstborn the apple of his eyes that he will kill and slay any nation because of a covenant and it's an everlasting covenant that he has made so when your grandfather was draining the blood of a goat near fire you were in the loins of prophecy but then he was saying look protect us and we contract this entire estate to you watch this then all of a sudden like i said last week some white missionaries from america just came and they said what are you guys doing they say for 150 years we have been serving this shrine they say no no we bring you good news of glad tidings jesus has come this is old we present to you jesus and then you embrace the gospel of salvation and you felt that peace in your heart you were happy you were glad i have received jesus two weeks later the missionaries started dying one by one remember they are the ones who got you born again and you were happy two weeks later your farm stopped producing as usual your peace was still in you you were happy and you love jesus then you decided to come together to pray and while you prayed and prayed and prayed you just found out that one of your child started running mad on the street listen brothers and sisters there are seven gospels jesus left with the church i'm not about to preach it now but the gospel of salvation is only one of them there is the gospel of the kingdom it is the gospel of the kingdom that reveals to you the keys of the kingdom they are not called the keys of salvation the, is the gospel of the kingdom how you engage these mysteries to manifest that which is finished from the foundations of the earth I hate to be a bearer of bad news but it's just that many of us are not honest enough to look at our lives and look at our dear parents and look at our siblings one of our dear ladies she might be here i remember it was during was it during christmas or early new year this year her mother and, and and i'm sorry to just have to talk about it but her mother a godly woman was standing in church sir just like everybody wonderful woman of god in the presence of everybody looking at her in the house of god with the anointing of the spirit she fell down face forward in the presence of everybody and died right there prayer warriors came and prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened while that would happen her father paralyzed completely paralyzed completely in this place i'm not talking of another place when i heard that i said this is it this is it I must teach this this year this is it now do you know the family of that lady will almost beat you if you go to them with arrogance and say ladies and gentlemen look I don't know what you believe but that lady I think there are few people I know that pray like that lady in terms of consistency of the spiritual discipline of prayer what could be wrong what are we not seeing when jesus walked the earth it was not like that the invincibility of his victory was incontestable what is wrong with our understanding so covenant number two i taught us that the second access point is ignorance don't forget ignorance ignorance is a force in the spirit just like faith ignorance is a force it can cause things to happen 
in fact the bible calls a certain class of the demonic organogram rulers of darkness that means their domain of dominion is every time there is lack of illumination when they come to a life or they come to a physical territory where there is lack of spiritual illumination their dominion is activated they are called rulers of the darkness of this world not another world so they search for everywhere there is darkness in this world and that becomes their jurisdiction of authority archbishop benson idahosa was explaining the power of light and its ability to conquer darkness and he said that there was darkness in a land it was a story there was darkness in a land for many weeks and the people in that land went to the sun to complain s-u-n and they said son please help us there is darkness in our land and the son said you mean it darkness everywhere he said yes and then it the said the son said okay i'm coming to see the darkness and when the son came there for three weeks and found out there was no darkness he said i've been you people are wasting my time i've been here for three weeks and i can't find the darkness and they said for as long as you are here the darkness cannot come so there is light the light shines the light shines notice the bible never says the light appears in darkness uh -uh. it is not the appearance of light that takes away darkness it is the shining it is the shining not just the appearance the light shines in darkness the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not are we together number three disobedience disobedience having the readiness to judge all obedience all disobedience when your obedience is complete disobedience authorizes the gates of darkness the gates of hell to prevail over the sins very quickly let's look at levels of satanic influences blessed be the name of the lord is god speaking to someone tonight there are three main levels of satanic influences and that also includes the levels of satanic influences over the saints there is a dimension of satanic influence that cannot happen to you when you are in christ but there is a dimension of satanic influence that you can still be a victim of even though you are in christ let's look at it very quickly number one the first level of satanic influence and activity over mankind and creation is deception write it down deception the first level of spiritual attack over anyone at all is deception and this dimension can happen to both a believer and an unbeliever it was paul who was speaking um, um which of the church now help me it says galatia the church in galatia it says oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you he was talking to believers are we together the word bewitching there does not have to do with drinking blood and eating flesh to bewitch or witchcraft in this context means to cause a man to err using the tool of deception are we together so who has caused you to err by proposing a deceptive theology to you let's look at a few scriptures very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and verse 13 if we can run through it very quickly second peter chapter 2 we'll, look, we'll read verse 2 verse 12 and 13 media please help us second peter chapter 2 and then we'll look at revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 the bible says and many shall follow their pernicious ways deceptive ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of the bible is talking of a kind of deception here are we together now i don't want to go into other uh, more modern versions so that you see what pernicious there is but just know that he's speaking within the context of deception here go to verse 12 please 12 and then 13. it says but these 
Paul is really, I mean, Apostle Peter here is really angry. And he's using an expression that may even be considered offensive. He said, but this, as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. He says, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption that means that believers have been made to be deceived by the arrogance of bringing argument upon a doctrine you do not understand there are many people who would have been delivered but because they sat down under a preacher who believes in himself he's not being deceived took them away from the light that would have blessed them the bible says they speak evil of the things that they do not understand there is a level of deception where you take people away from the truth in an attempt to save them just because you do not understand the relevance of that body of truth to the church and there are many of us men of God who are victims of this there are many believers who would not have been in the kind of spiritual situations that they are in except that they sat down under our tutelage and under our mentorship and we vented volumes of our ignorance to their minds that derailed them from the path they were already following to liberty they followed us away from their breakthrough let's look at the second revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 again media please help us very quickly we are still looking at deception three verses here i found just to explain the different kinds of deception this is talking about the great dragon revelation 12 and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived how many the whole world so satan part of the system of establishing his dominion upon the earth and upon every territory is deception he deceived the whole world the bible says he was cast into where he was cast into where uh oh earth there's a problem the deceiver that deceives the whole world was thrown out of heaven unfortunately he landed here what do you think will happen here on earth deception so he comes to eve and manipulates eve comes to adam and says adam come let me tell you something did god really say that a b c d and adam said well he said we may freely eat of the food eve said this and that and that and then he said no there is something god is hiding from you god is hiding this i hope you know that satan never um, satan never wanted i used to think satan wanted to replace god no no satan didn't want to replace god he wanted to run a parallel government i will be like not i will be the most high the god continue your throne sit there i will also say, i want to sit by your right hand now you understand what happened to man satan wanted to sit let's let's go since since the word eloha elohim it is plural add me to the godhead that's what he wanted I am I have done too much I hope you know I, I like oh dear I don't want to go into the pre adamite dispensation but I hope you know when you begin to read Jeremiah chapter 4 I, I don't want to go there don't, don't don't go there media um for time's sake you you realize that Satan was sent as a representative of the love of God to the then civilization and the then creation what jesus represents to our civilization was what lucifer the light bearer the custodian of the mysteries of the kingdom he was sent he didn't just deceive a third of the angels are you seeing how powerful his deception is a third of the angels that are in heaven where god is they fell for him talk more of you and then he deceived the kings of the earth and he was thrown down to ashes and the kings and the nations lamented they say you have become like one of us jeremiah chapter 4 when you read you who brought the nations the bible says he weakened the nation that was his sin it was not just pride there was something he made that made the nations weak and now he has become like one of us and he raised up a lamentation then you begin to compare with other scriptures 
that's what led to the darkness that was in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 the judgment that God declared upon that then civilization Satan the first occupant I told you of the garden of Eden was not Adam it was Satan that was in Eden the garden of the Lord so when Satan was watching God recreate the earth and then put men there Satan said okay God finish and go and let me come to the garden I'm used to he knew where to found to find Eve he never said Eve where are you is God that said Adam where are you Satan always knows where to find them I know where frail human beings can be found let me tell you every man even from Adam was born with the tendency to sin in iniquity Jeremiah said did my mother he never said in sin remember it's iniquity that produces sin iniquity is a state of the heart the propensity to be vulnerable towards a thing that's why he said um, subdue replenish he used the word subdue in other words be careful there is a stranger I don't want to tell you his story but don't be surprised if you find out you are not alone in this garden and then Satan came you think he came to Eve one day no he had been coming Ah, Eve, so you are here today. He said, don't disturb me. God is coming in the cool of the day. He said, okay, let's talk Eve. Satan's deception is so powerful. Remains small. He would have gotten Jesus. Read your Bible. <laughs> Satan for you. When Satan took Jesus up the mountain, he tempted it, him on three things that, re, that represent the dimensions for spiritual growth. The first dimension was your personal need. That's where the temptation started from. Jesus, you are hungry. Remember, part of the supplies of the powers of heaven is to help you satisfy your personal need. So Satan, I mean Jesus, don't watch stones like this where you are dying of hunger. The power of God is able to turn stones into bread. Do it. And Jesus said no. And Satan found out, okay, I see you are so obsessed with your assignment. You have left the realm of your individualism into kingdom. Next temptation let's talk about the issues now that concern the agenda of god why routed the hard way all the kings that are in these systems i deceived them and placed them there they are my boys bow to me and let me just give you their hearts instead of routing through the cross and all this pain are you seeing satan now he left jesus for a season he said i'm coming notice he never came directly to jesus again satan for you the next time we see satan coming he's coming to peter remember the goal is to jesus then the next time we see him again judas then the next time in jesus's weakness he now comes and manipulates his mind and jesus for the first time says father is it possible that you take this cup off me and jesus said no nevertheless nevertheless not my way if Jesus prayed that prayer the father would have granted him yes because he always hears me Jesus said it at the grave of Lazarus I thank thee father because you always hear me I, ha I had to pray this in open so that they will know I'm not my my open prayer is not an act of unbelief I'm saying it to minister to them I thank thee because you always hear me if Jesus stopped at that prayer the father would have said well I cannot be a demon to usurp your will you have chosen to abort redemption so let it be and that would be it he still will be the word but there is no longer fruits of redemption he will still remain till today as the firstborn of the begotten but thank god he endured and he has now become not just the only begotten but the first begotten of the father we being the proceeds of that salvation and the Bible says that we have now been called into glory and virtue. Are we together? Deception. The third way deception can happen, Ephesians 5 verse 6. God, we have to run. We have to run. At least let's, let's just stop somewhere here and then we'll pray. Let no man deceive you with what? Help me. So the third instrument of deception is vain words. You can use words that may look very spiritual expressions theologies 
spiritual communications that because they are deep and because they are voluminous in context and play around with your mind they may be termed weighty just because of the nature of them the bible says let no man deceive you with vain words so who are the people that bring this kind of deception men satan uses men to bring vain words just because a thing is spiritual does not mean it is accurate i can bring something and communicate what we call deep mysteries and in the end of it you are bamboozed by my theological dissertation but there is no substance in it to bring you victory we have to be careful let no man deceive you with vain words for because of this cometh the wrath of god on the children of disobedience the first level of satanic influence and hear me brothers and sisters for as long as you are in this earth you stand a chance to be deceived there must be a groundedness in the world that immunes you from deception the cure for deception among other things is to be sound in the world are we together now that the word of god is able to establish you the bible declares that i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified so the word of god is able to give us wisdom wisdom number two the second level of satanic influence is called manipulation and control manipulation and control the first realm the realm of deception thrives on the strength of your senses you may want to write that satan plays around with your senses and the fact that you are human and that you process things through your five senses it becomes his advantage number two is manipulation and control this happens in the realm of the mind this is where strongholds are this is where all kinds of thoughts that are captive that keep men subject to the laws of satan like we shared in luke 22 give us luke 22 and verse 31 this was the encounter that jesus had with peter remember luke 22 the lord said to simon watch this simon remember was a disciple of jesus although they had not experienced salvation in as much as we know but the fact that they were in close touch with the word of god alone should create some system of immunity yet satan penetrated all of that and came again through simon the chiefest of the apostles are we together he was forbidding jesus that jesus should not talk about death no jesus don't talk about the cross and everything and jesus was said oh simon you love me so much you are such a kind man jesus looked at him and said no this is not kindness this is this is the devil wants to use he's taking advantage now watch this are you seeing how manipulation and control happens it takes advantage of an attribute within you that may even be godly and satan can buy into it to become what you if you have compassion satan can use compassion to deceive you if you have intelligence satan can use your intelligence and overthrow you here he takes advantage of peter's compassion peter thought he was being sympathetic to jesus jesus you've done too much don't talk about death i'm going to miss you what does a good leader do oh I, I, you guys are all wicked people i'm talking of dying and none of you is crying peter come i love you in fact when i when, when as i'm going to heaven you will receive my mantle for being this compassionate hear what jesus says jesus looks at peter with the tears running from his eyes and says get thee behind me this is jesus why didn't he look at the ground get no 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 he looks at peter get thee behind me simon simon he said satan had desired to do what have you that he may sift you as wheat next verse but i have prayed for you so what is one of the secrets that can help you overcome demonic manipulation is the ministry of prayer he said watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation because you can't judge it just by the seeing of the eye you need to sustain an intelligence and a capacity 
capacity to discern between good and evil i have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted he said use this same formula to strengthen your brethren that means intercede for them too because satan will come are you seeing why intercession is important in a church for the saints paul was praying that we we pray that that um, um prayers and supplications be offered for those in government for this and that that we may live a peaceable and a quiet life if you don't pray satan will sway people manipulation the realm of the mind now this is where it looks as though believers are possessed are we together because you see when you are i, I don't want to go into deliverance proper now that that's for series three are we together but you notice even here in koinonia and even you know right now as i've been talking you are seeing believers that you know love god but in the pro they themselves are shocked all of a sudden they start crying and talking things and saying things and you look at them and it's ah, but this person is a believer why is this person suddenly crying out and your spirit is leaving the person the physical manifestation of deliverance from whatever level looks the same it takes the eye of the spirit to know what is happening there so be careful so you don't blackmail believers and all of a sudden you see a mecca now standing and i touch his head and he's manifesting i says you see this guy these, these, these are the snakes that are singing in, in koinonia no no that kind of talk is, is ignorance and arrogance and even stupidity sometimes. Don't blackmail believers just because of this. And again, we prophets and apostles, I think we must be warned in Jesus' name. Because we are the ones who advocate this confusion. Just because you look and see a snake, you just stand up and the guy now gets up and he's angry. He knows he's not a snake. He knows he's not a fool. He loves God with all his heart. He's surprised that he was manifesting. And he's ashamed. And he, he goes back stigmatized by others who felt they didn't fall. So that means they are sound. Not knowing the acuteness of the problem that is sitting on your head. Are we together? God bless you. So the realm of the mind, manipulation and control. This is where Satan sways our thoughts. Ah. It is manipulation and control is so powerful. It will shock you to know that the greatest victims of this realm are believers, not unbelievers. Unbelievers are so flexible. The sincerity of their heart doesn't even, it allows them to find truth. It is believers that are quick to look at men of God apostle joshua selman how can a young man like that have crowd like be careful lord we're in the end times and you will think you are being sincere are we together now manipulation it is the devil that uses that realm to make somebody you love so much he now uses his face to you in a dream watch this somebody that loves you and is praying for you maybe your mother now appears and you go and say apostle prophet I saw my mother with a knife and he said i've been telling you for ages your mother is a witch and all of a sudden you carry axe and straight to your village and your mother said oh my dad so don't tell me anything so you are the one behind my pain manipulation both the counselor and the counselee both of them are under the siege of manipulation and control are we together now very important satan can manipulate you the moment he sees that you are get you are praying over a challenge in your life and he has seen that you have dedicated time to seek the lord he withdraws that challenge temporarily so that you will stop praying you will take you will take the withdrawal to be victory established then you will now say because he knows that you never see god until there is trouble so the moment there is a challenge and you set yourself to seek the lord you will see a temporary victory and you say ah that's it the dream has stopped and so you continue in that low level and think you are safe whereas he's waiting for a time where you go so down that he can strike you in a way that will matter is god giving us intelligence tonight manipulation 
do you know brothers and sisters i look at my own life let me be honest with you i look at my own life i look at my background and brothers and sisters i'm shocked at how well meaning my life was and how satan prevailed over my mind with doctrines with theories with all kinds of things it's amazing sometimes i sit down and i listen to men of god sometimes i attend conferences and i see people and i see very well-meaning believers but i am afraid sometimes even very anointed i am surprised at how they are victims to the siege of manipulations the very context of their doctrine will tell you that they are under manipulation There are all kinds of manipulations if i get up today for instance as a man of god and i believe that every other church and every other ministry in zaria is wasting god's time except me that state is already a sign of progress in an attack are you getting what i'm saying if i believe that I'm the most anointed man of God in Zaria and that every other person especially our fathers our reverence here and there they are just talkatives wasting God's time the fact that I could accept that imagination why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing that I could conceive that vanity and agree in my heart and convince myself that that is the state is already a sign that I'm a victim of manipulation and control are you getting what I'm saying now dishonor to the body is a product of this kind of attack dishonor to constituted authority we are all men of God there's nothing you have that I don't have is a sign of this level of attack listen very carefully the pride that comes with the result of spirituality is a product of this you will not know oh i come and i say look I've, I've fasted for 40 days mr man how long do you fast he said well i managed to do two like <laughs> love is like this guy that's still i pray that god will bring you up oh i'm going to go and pray and you think that just because you did that is a show of spirituality it could be that the devil is already wasting such an energetic spiritual process that should bless you but it's been corrupted by allowing him to prevail over your mind then on the other hand you see people praying and fasting and you look at them and say look all you guys need you see you see wisdom is profitable to direct this prayer prayer is, is all nonsense you are just praying stupid that state too is another version of manipulation are you getting the point now yes the fact that you use financial prosperity only as the chief proof of the word of god working for you is big deception i'm repeating this thing again i believe in prosperity we've taught a lot on success systems but learn this i think the church of the lord jesus christ needs to be weaned away from the deception that prosperity alone is proof that things are going on well in your life in terms of financial abundance no remember that the harlot upon the horse that mystery babylon can enrich the kings of the earth she's a merchant she can make men rich so just because i'm adding spiritual value to you and you sow into my life and then you come and see me taking tea and bread you can mistaking the availability of a lot of tea and bread to mean that just because i have tea and bread my life is all right it's impossible for me to be under any kind of siege and i myself can be deceived because the moment i want to think about my life an alert comes one million rubber. that means this thing is in place if it was not in place i mean where did the devil stop it from the bank let's be very careful a man's life does not constitute in the abundance of what he has i'm not against abundance now i hate poverty we all do as a ministry are we together but at the same time we must be careful there are many people whose lives are not all right just because they have a lot of money they just turn and look at other poor it's easy for a poor man to believe he's oppressed even if he's free he will not agree because the whiplash of the uh, what it, the economic power
tide that is swaying him left and right even when he has been delivered there is still something that is obvious and real and truthful when someone does not eat it's easy that's why sociologists will tell us that religion is the opium of the masses it's a system to motivate masses to keep them in bondage are we together manipulation and control number three find somewhere to stop here tonight is complete possession that means complete possession of your spirit your soul your body the entirety of your tripartite nature can come under the subjection of darkness this is called possession the bible shows us people who were under that kind of thing mark chapter 5 the madman in gadara do you know why he was a madman in fact he was not even a madman we only called him mad simply because of the context of our civilization the goal of the demons was not to make him mad they were just too many in one person and so his activity looked like that of somebody who is insane the goal was not insanity how could you have a legion of demons and be all right based on men's context of civilization imagine the war this one is saying cut this stone and so he just remained and notice how restful he was the bible says he will sit down in a cave quietly they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings it's a long reading we'll find somewhere to stop verse 2 let's continue and when he was come out of the ship listen carefully immediately there met out of the tombs a man with what you see that was not a madman it was just a man with too many unclean spirits a man with an unclean spirit verse 3 who had his dwellings among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains a man with flesh and blood yet metallic chains could not hold him because that he had often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him verse 5 okay and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stone 6 but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him now you would think that worship is homage no this is satan at work deception this uh, let me tell you this when satan knows you will overpower him his next assignment becomes to agree with you so that he will conquer you remember in the book of acts these are the holy men of god they have come to preach the glad tidings of the kingdom so that the day paul goes will say since we can't see paul we know that you are allies in ministry and the deception will continue be careful when the devil starts fraternizing with you it's a sign to allow that comfort to keep you there so that you will be struck eventually but when he saw jesus he ran and worshipped him verse 6 and he cried out with a loud voice and said what have i to do with thee jesus thou son of the most high god i adjure thee by god satan speaking through a man i adjure thee by god that thou torment me not eight oh dear i'm sorry mark is not giving us the context i'm looking for anyway we'll read to verse 9 and just stop there one of the synoptics that talks about the legions i thought that was where it will lead us for he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit mark gave us an epistle of one spirit but we know i think um ah okay mark leaves it there too and he asks him what is thy name identify yourself now there has been a debate about this i don't i'll talk about it next week talking to demons talking back to you will address it don't worry trust me my name is joshua selman justice will be done adequately are we together now and he asks him what is thy name and he answered saying my name is is that a name 
my name is what legion suddenly he now changes from i to we we are many don't be deceived that only one person is speaking we are many multiple spirits can exist within the same entity strange so your human spirit is not the only one that can be in you another spirit many spirits legions we are many verse 10 and he besought him much that he would not send them away from the country this is another discussion how can demons beg and say okay apostle cast us out of here but let's not go outside of new extension we have been in new extension for a long time look at the level of organization that the demonic kingdom have they know that there is jurisdiction of their influence and saying if you take us out of that jurisdiction there is no basis for dominion so leave us within our prescribed territory we will leave the individual you are interested in but leave the territory this is a message that many of us need to learn so it can leave you but is still around you waiting for a moment when you will grant access again jesus is the one teaching that when a demon leaves a man so demons can leave men let it not surprise you that demons leave men the bible says he goes through arid regions and not finding any place of habitation it will tell itself i will return back to my house you are born again he's still calling you his house you see how tenacious satan is my house and he comes and finds it swept clean but empty then it doesn't enter alone it gathers seven greater than itself look at that system of coordination seven greater than itself and returns and they comfortably stay in you so that the end of that man is even worse don't miss the next part three of this i will be teaching you why many supposed deliverance is incomplete and i'll be teaching you the imbalance of forever continuous deliverance why is it that you keep casting out the same demon forever you know because this is I, i'm already going ahead of myself i want to solve that problem there are many well-meaning believers who teach that deliverance is an ongoing continuous and forever process in a way they are right and in a way they are wrong when i teach you the dimensions of deliverance we will see what deliverance is ongoing and what deliverance is wrong the deliverance of transformation because there is a dimension of deliverance called transformation it is an ongoing process christ being the standard on and the reference so in that way it is correct but deliverance like a continual exorcism casting away of spirit beings the fact that they continue finding expression is a sign that what that person needs is not just to cast the demons away are you getting me now all of that we're going to deal with next week we have to find a place to tie it today levels of satanic influence number one deception we're just doing a recap number two manipulation and control number three complete possession look up please of all these three levels the only one that the saints are by the default state of redemption immune from are we together is complete possession because he that is joined to christ according to the authority of scripture is one spirit not two spirits living in one the same way a husband and a wife have become one are we together now you have become one it's a sharing together to understand that concept you have to understand an old jewish practice called salt covenant uh, the salt covenant was a way of binding um, union between two people or two neighboring countries and they would use salt are we together you would bring your salt i will bring my salt and we'll pour it together in a vessel and mix it the condition for us to close that covenant is if everyone can pick his own salt out are we together so our redemption is in the similitude of that kind complete possession by the authority of scripture i do not believe that a believer can be completely possessed spirit soul and body 
although we generally call it possession simply because of the character of the manifestation are you getting where the error comes from now so like i said if i pray we're going to start praying shortly and many of you even as you are listening to me now will find out that you start manifesting and sometimes in the manifestation you will say things and do things that many times can look like you are possessed are we together and if you do not discern with understanding you may even deceive yourself to think you are possessed i've seen many people join the line after koinonia and then they ask me apostle am i a witch i said what is the meaning of that he said please i'm tired of everybody around saying i'm a witch even a witch listen carefully even a witch is not entirely possessed hmm. you see that that thing we call witch and wizards no There are spirit entities that are not human. Listen very carefully. I hope you know that human beings are not the only species of beings on earth. We know that, right? That there are other species. Make reference to my message, the, the seed, I think the seed and the woman also, are seven days for prayer and fasting. I did a little teaching on that. That there are human beings on earth that are not pure humans salvation is not for them they cannot access the redemptive work of Jesus otherwise probably the angels would have re repented salvation is not for angels salvation is not for any other beings in fact in fact listen very carefully the scope of salvation starts as as far as the authority of scripture reveals to us starts from the Adam the man who originated our human civilization if you were before adam there was another system are we together it was not redemption through the blood of the eternal son of god because when according to apostle peter when jesus went to hell the ones he preached to were not those who were at the pre-adamites we know that by those who resurrected with him are we together now the bible says prophets of old that resurrected and walked the streets of Jerusalem then having ascended to the father as the firstborn of the begotten to finish the substitutionary sacrifice there the atonement he now came and they all went together are we together now so we know that it is true that that uh, apostle Peter lets us know that Jesus preached the gospel to the departed saints in hell there because they were partakers but if you were not of Adam, that's why Jesus is called the second Adam. So it starts from there. There are other beings on earth that cannot be partakers of salvation, but they are on earth. Satan has fraternized with them and he's still using them. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So you can find some of these entities. The fact that they are not of this earth does not mean that they cannot find expression in materials, but material bodies. And then you will also see them manifest in material bodies. I'm not talking of entering a human being. They themselves as an entity sustaining a body that is material, but it's not a human being. Those are the kinds that we that's the classic proof of wizardry are we together now it's not just an individual who has been possessed there is a dimension of that but there are beings on earth that you see they are humanoid in their context but they are not human beings they are not progenitors from from adam salvation they can't receive salvation it is this kind that the bible says spare not a witch to live You will be blessed with a lot of balance um, um there's something I, I want to reserve it till part three because as i just said that many of you now are afraid okay so if they don't leave you are trying to say they die so what does that mean because many of you have seen ministries uh, respectfully great ministries like mountain of fire and all of that sometimes you see them say die and then you're now saying so what is it and men of god have laughed in sarcasm to mean spirits don't die we will find out how spirits die because spirits died <laughs> hmm. jesus the greatest strength of satan the one factor that makes satan look powerful over lives 
is one word the flesh write it down the flesh next or next week or whenever is the next time we'll take it we'll start from there the flesh i have to stop now no matter what level of deliverance you go through every other agency of demonic activity is dependent on the strength of the flesh to walk meaning you are truly not free when you are still alive to the flesh are we together now this is where the burden of laborious continual deliverance in in futility comes from and attempts to continue to cast out spirits cast out spirits cast out spirits and then the saints or the individuals that are now delivered continue to remain and dwell in the domain of the flesh let me tell you when you dwell in the domain of the flesh you will get to a point where the spirits on their own can go without being casted out and come because the gateway a stronghold has been created by your affinity to the flesh and that's why sometimes they mock we men of god before you say in jesus name they have gone and the person is happy i say hey, to mean you are powerful and is waiting he knows so people continue receiving temporary results temporary breakthrough temporary deliverance temporary this but there is a way that god can grant us grace to establish victory once and for all that you win today and win tomorrow you stand strong today and stand strong tomorrow then you now will not be the person in need of deliverance you will carry this dimension because you will now you will know you are delivered because you are a possessor it remains with you are we together so now you can turn to others and begin to communicate the dimension of the life and the power that god has brought to you are we blessed rise up on your feet rise up please you reign you reign hello king you reign you reign Jesus, I'm walking in the experience of the victory, the victory that the blood of Jesus, the victory that the blood of Jesus, the victory that the death of Jesus, the victory of his triumphant resurrection. Lift your voice and declare. Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory 
over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. Lord, I declare, Lord, I declare, complete victory over the works of darkness. Hallelujah. 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 I know that I've not, I've not taught it the next time we're doing deliverance and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements. But one of the mysteries that produce true deliverance is the mystery of the blood. Are we together? It's one of the three witnesses. The Bible says, and there are three witnesses that bear, three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. It says that there are three witnesses. This is where the problem is, the earth. It says the spirit, the water, and the blood. Are we together? The Bible guarantees us that the blood of Jesus speaketh. The blood of Jesus speaketh. That means you can cause the blood to advocate. The blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel, the man, had died. But Abel the blood was speaking and he cried and God himself had to say no something is happening although the man had died but the blood is still speaking I'd like you to engage the blood and say in the name of Jesus I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood I invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood upon your life, upon your family, when I see the blood upon every ordinance against you, I will pass over. When I see the blood upon the pronouncements in your family, I will pass over. Lift your voice and invoke the blood. We declare that the blood speaks. Declare the mystery of God's mercy. The blood speaks. We declare the priesthood of Jesus that is after the order of Melchizedek, higher than the Aaronic priesthood, higher than the priesthood of Noah. We declare in the name of Jesus. The blood speaks. The blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers the blood speaks hallelujah hallelujah help that lady please the bible says listen carefully just help those under the anointing something is happening here the bible says we have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue remember i'll be sharing with you every other power on earth cannot walk without the sun the sun and the moon are the two elements that power every activity that happens on the earth that's why the psalmist said the sun shall not smite you the sun does not smite in itself but i can take advantage of the sun every activity demonically on earth without the when there was darkness upon the earth there was no demonic activity 
until light returned then satan now returned with his activity too when there was all through the period of darkness the only entity we see is the spirit of god we never hear of any demon jumping the moment the sun was withdrawn and the moon was withdrawn so the psalmist said the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night which can thrive only with the sun that's why jesus himself is called the son of righteousness that can arise with healings thou shall not be he said the sun shall not smite you that means for as long as there is sun and there is moon i can do something on earth that will tap the power of the sun to fight you that will tap the power of the sun to spare you away watch this hold on joseph goes to bed and has a dream and here's his dream i saw the sun i saw the moon and i saw 11 stars remember all of them are lights they are just different kinds of light bowing to me when jacob had this jacob said so me jacob called himself the son so i will bow and my wife who gets her glory from me like the moon from the sun and then your brothers who are also stars will bow to you jacob was worried the sun bowing the sun can bow the moon can bow even the stars that have been sent to signify times and seasons can bow what is this power that can make the sun bow by next week i'll share with you how god delivered me you know i've been telling you what i went through but i've not shared with you how i came out this is what i want to share with you kai look let me tell you you don't know victory till you understand the mysteries of the spirit you will smash the gates of darkness he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder that you will walk through the enemy's camp and take your possession and lift it like this and turn to satan and say i dare you i will show you a man who made the sun and the moon to obey him i'm happy his name is called joshua Hi. <laughs> watch this watch this every time god wanted to bring redemption to men he didn't just bless them he did something to the sun and the moon to realign them to their advantage hezekiah was about to die and when god turned his life he said as a sign i will do something to the sun and move it a particular degree so that the power that would have killed you that has shifted the sun to that degree to allow it kill you will no longer be able to touch you joshua looked at the sun and said jericho is not an ordinary city they are fortified because they have done something even with the sun and the moon and he said son there is war about to be fought and because of that stand still it's not just because of light sun stand still moon hold your peace and all of a sudden jericho suddenly became afraid the diviners in jericho said this thing is not working again they said what happened they said someone has done something to the sun jericho was close and they were afraid the, the nation of israel were not fighting therefore the, the bible said they were close none went out none entered they said we're in trouble the sun and the moon you will see why herbalists do all kinds of things and drop a mirror on the ground and use a sun and or the sun and make stupid enchantments and we laugh and say oh it doesn't matter and all of a sudden you will now see why the psalmist categorized evil according to what the sun does and the night there are arrows that fly only by day the what empowers them is the sun there is the destruction 
that wasted in noonday once it is 12 on the dot that destruction can start please be interested in what i'm sharing because this ministry that you enjoy is standing on the wings of these mysteries there is what can subdue causes yes it is the blood of jesus yes it is all of this but the dynamics of that operation brothers and sisters the powers that hold africa are powerful don't trivialize it jesus is above all i don't in any way demean the power of god if i did i would not be standing here if i did this koinonia will not be standing here if i'm faking what i tell you i will not open my mouth to declare this because that means i won't be able to sleep this night too who can stand against the lord no one can no one will still on that exercise of night prayers i know some of you have not been doing it don't do it as a ritual but i want you to receive grace to do it with understanding forget about what happens just do what i ask you to do it doesn't matter whether even if you are praying and a demon appears, don't worry you are about to see a dimension of the wisdom and the power of god conquer the realm of the flesh are we together we are going to receive grace to pray but i want to pray for you right now please just help anyone under the anointing just two minutes and then we are done in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit I, my god i'm seeing a sword right now i declare every hold of darkness shabakato salata even in this series help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice i was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of david by the message of god i declare right now in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your christian integrity and making god's word look like a lie shabakato kasata in the name of jesus fire i'm seeing fire that's what i'm seeing from heaven i'm praying for you in the spirit in the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible says he nailed it to the cross i declare 
and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release help them please everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor God has shown you dreams your children, your breakthrough your lifting, your speed, your job your marriage in the name of Jesus I release it to your hands now become a possessor I release it to your hands now become a possessor and I pray for you the Bible says when you catch a thief he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing can I speak restoration let me tell you there are many of us you have lost things some you have lost time Joshua said son go back move go back I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names everything the devil took away from you I command a restoration now I command a restoration now whatever you have lost in time I speak to you between today and Friday coming I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer may my God the God of Jeshurun arise and surprise you arise and surprise you we call him Ebenezer the helper of Israel I declare oh God arise oh God arise Hallelujah. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? Because when that pressure comes upon the righteous, the pressure will make them dip their hands in iniquity. I will share with you a mystery. It was the delay of the coming of the bridegroom that made the oil of five of the virgins to finish if the bridegroom came early all ten will be alive they all started alive but when there was delay five started going down we have to end thank you Lord Jesus Father we bless you we bless you for the spirit of revelation we bless you for the abundance of what you are doing in our midst even in this season Lord Jesus we pray for tomorrow in the name of Jesus we thank you for our doctors we thank you for that which we are doing by your grace for this community Lord we pray for the worship concert on Sunday let it be such an avalanche of your glory may your glory visibly rest upon us we pray for the worship team as they lead us in worship oh god anoint them in a supernatural way we decree and declare that you will be glorified as we lift up the sounds of worship right from zaria to the nations of the earth we pray oh god that a shofar will also sound in the spirit that will bring liberation will bring healings will bring signs and wonders we give you all the glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let me make the altar call very quickly please keep standing you heard me say the only way to be free from possession 
is when your spirit is joined to the spirit of the Christ the Bible says and whoever does not have the spirit is none of his there are people here you probably are following online you're here in the main auditorium you may be a visitor overflow one overflow two overflow three and by the roadside wherever I want to give you an opportunity we're not playing games this is very serious business there are people here saying apostle I love the things of God but I've never formally handed my life over to Christ and others are saying I at one point or the other gave my life to Jesus but because of the pressures like I said the delay of the coming of the bridegroom caused even the oil of the five virgins to finish and it caused them to begin to slumber until they missed it you may be in that category whichever of the two you are in I want to give you an opportunity now hallelujah if you are in overflow one overflow two and the main auditorium I will request that you come out and just stand here as I pray with you if you are at overflow three for the sake of time and distance may I request that you just move to the front of your projector screen and just follow me as I lead the saints um, in this prayer God bless you you are here make your way to the front let's appreciate them as they come some of you it is your coming that will culminate to the salvation of your family members don't take it for granted you are not just coming for yourself alone your redemption is the redemption of your family he said as for me and my house it has to be me first before my house it can be my house before me God bless you Koinonia celebrate them as they come Jesus is drawing many to the fold thank you Jesus tonight win that war in your hearts there's nothing to be ashamed of he said ye must be born again it's not just a religious initiation into a church into a whatever it is no it is the foundation for a solid work with God someone may be thinking about it and say apostle I'm not sure I'm bad I don't do anything bad as, as much as I know I'm just not sure I've handed my life to Jesus join them join them when the Titanic sank there were only two names those who were saved and lost if you were not sure you were saved you were lost as simple as that there's no hanging around the fence you are either fully completely and consciously in Christ or you are outside of Christ is there someone saying I'm in this category I want to join them make your way very quickly and join them as I lead them in this prayer if there's anyone please join them very quickly thank you brothers and sisters for this noble decision lift your right hand and I want you to say this after me convincingly let this be from the depth of your heart you are not just reciting a poem after a man of God let it be from the depth of your heart Jesus is in this place say after me Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I have heard your word and I declare that Jesus is my Savior that Jesus is my Lord now and forever I receive eternal life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life I declare that I'm a child of God and I begin to walk in victory amen God bless you Jesus thank you for these precious brothers and sisters in here online and at the overflow outside I declare that you receive these ones and that they receive of the gift of your spirit and I pray that beginning from today they are declared the righteousness of God and they begin to walk in the full expression of all that redemption has made available we give you all the things I declare your sins forgiven I declare the power of the flesh the power of Satan in the name of Jesus broken over your life I set you free and I declare that you begin to walk in victory in Jesus name I pray amen a big congratulations to you please follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you in concert follow the gentleman waving your hands and there will be a group of people dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages 
subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.